Warning. Broken simulation. Broken simulation. With Sam Tripoli. Yeah! Welcome to Broken Sim. Johnny Woodard. We're in it. It's a lot of energy. I like lot, that, man. I'm you in it, came dude. Right I feel like I'm really decaying hard in front of the camera. Like I'm looking decayed. Look at this, dude. No, Look at no, this. No, no, no. Look at this, bro. I got a, I got a, I got a, I got a, a, a camouflage a sandwich shop hat on, which is like yeah, kind of yeah. what your dad does, where he just buys something at the gift shop and just wears it out yeah. to the end of days. It's right? like his best hat for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. why I'm just trying to mix it up from a LA hat, and then I'm just wearing the stuff I slept in. You're leaning really hard in the sweatsuits now, right? I really am because of my hips. What, wait, what are, jeans what just they jeans hurt your hips? Chips hurt hurt my hips now. You got hip pain. I got some. I think I I think I really screwed my legs up by doing hardcore drugs at some point. Oh, okay. So I I, I, I need the loosey I need the loosey goosey hips. That doesn't hurt your jujitsu game. The hips or does no, it? dude. I'm actually I'm actually doing okay, which is crazy. I'm still the worst. But I'm I'm the oh, wait, are you literally the worst? You're not literally. No, the I don't worst. think I'm the worst. No. But yeah, I, you know I'm getting it, dude. I got my moves. I got my moves. I, I you gotta understand. So it's just like jujitsu is just not something where it's like here to here to here. It's just like one day you're like holy shit, I know that. That's that's how it goes. You're like holy shit, I know. I I just did it, and you don't even remember getting it. And then one day you get it. And then that's it. And you just keep going. It's like an endless pit. Anyways, Johnny, what's up with Trump? <laughs> what, a, what a segue. Uh, we just wanted to, the big story this week is, uh, well, there is a concern now that a juror on the oh, Trump this trial. Is so crazy, bro. Might have, uh, you know, they're supposed to all be sequestered. Have no contact, especially not be talking about what a potential verdict could be yeah, with people in yeah. the family. And now what we have here is a Manhattan Supreme Court justice, a guy called Juan Mershon. Uh, he revealed on Friday that a Facebook user who claimed to be the cousin of a juror, I know that's tenuous, but in the Trump uh, hush money trial, has suggested that he had advanced knowledge of last week's guilty verdict. And uh, this is Mershon's quote. Today, the court became aware of a comment that was posted on the Unified Court System's public Facebook page. What? In which I now bring to your attention, he wrote. In the comment, the user, Michael Anderson, uh, writes this. My cousin is a juror and says Trump is getting convicted. Thank you, folks, for all your hard work. Hey, real quick. It's Johnny. I'm talking to you right now just after we finish recording. It turns out that this story is, uh, well, it's fucking bullshit. The Facebook post is the product of someone claiming to be an alt-right shit poster. Now, I have a lot of questions about that. Why would someone who claims to be right-wing want to do this? Because it just makes us all look stupid. And, of course, as you might expect, all of the media coverage, even by the same outlets that reported on this like it was news, and it was news, they're saying that conspiracy theorists were duped again uh so there you go i i think there might be more to this it's probably uh this guy's on somebody's payroll and was uh you know putting this out there to make us look like dipshits so uh here we are this next few minutes of us talking is just us being stupid uh but hey it was news at the time and five minutes later it's not so what can you do oh and one more thing please leave a review uh we're trying to fight this fucking algorithm it helps us get up in the rankings and when we get higher in the rankings it makes it easier for new people to find the show which is really our our uh, goal here uh is to reach more people so if you could help us with that you'd really be doing us a great service and if you can't even listen right now could you just download the episode that's also again a really great service to us we thank you so much for listening if that's all you do that's enough too okay so he didn't do this on his own facebook he actually went to the facebook right but it wasn't about the trump the facebook Why? post he posted on was not about the trump a case it was about what? It, it didn't say here. It just said it was unrelated. It says uh, the comment was included in and a response. And it was on what page? Oh, here it is right here. Okay. The comment was included in a response to a May 29 post on the New York Court System's Facebook page that was unrelated to the 77-year-old former Why president's Why does trial. the New York Court System have a Facebook page? Yeah, right? That's, that's, that's a like, good point. That's yeah. like when I ask, like, why is waste <laughs> management advertising? You ever, like, any yeah, really. sporting event you go to, hey, man. 
the, we run the shitters, and that's all they do right there. It's no, just right. like, yeah. like, why is that there? They like, sponsor a PGA Tour event. Dude. I know. Like it's like, yeah, one. yeah, yeah. You're poop. We take care of it. Now enjoy this golf course. Okay? Yeah, are, they like, worried, are they worried about their business going somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, like, I like, can I business? pick where, yeah. who takes care of my, <laughs> my business? crap, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. Can I do that? Yeah, I, I, there's so much going on here. First of all, this guy's obviously doing some weird flex. For like, the like yeah, yeah, yeah. for single moms on Facebook. Of course he is. Right? Yeah. He's like, yeah, who wants to get some of this that brought down a dictator, right? Just flexing for single mothers. That's Dude, what this guy's doing. we all know doing. people who would say that. If they, if you told them to, you'd be like, I, I know, I can name like five people I know that I could tell that and be like, listen, you cannot Let's tell Let's say anybody. at the same time, see if we say the same name on the count of three. Are you ready? <laughs> One, two, two three. three. Jason, Jason Tebow. <laughs> 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 there we go. There we go. Yeah. That's so yeah. Funny. Yeah. We love you, Jason. Yeah, it's just crazy <laughs> to me. But but doesn't this kind of line up into that nothing ever sticks and it doesn't work out and this just yeah. is going to be another case that goes away and we end up with uh, Donald Trump as a uh, uh, as like a it. dictator. It does seem like it, man. It it certainly seems like I mean, I was going to bring this up later, but it seems like the Democrats now, and you've been saying this for a while, I know we have an active bet uh, where I think this won't happen, but there was a story this week about how uh, the Democrats are kind of lining up saying, there was this story that came out about how Biden is losing it, another one, and oh, I'm trying to find it right here, um, where is it, and it was not just Republicans this time, it was a lot of anonymous comment uh, commentary. <laughs> But it was not just Republicans this time. That was the that was the big. It's from Fox News here. Uh, national security issue: colon ex White House doctor raises alarms on Biden's mental health after bombshell report. Uh, a former White House physician turned Republican lawmaker that keep that caveat in mind uh, says President Biden's mental fitness is a matter of national security. The article's just uh, the article is just documenting what I've been saying all along. He's not fit to be the commander in chief. Representative Ronnie Jackson, Republican Texas, told Fox News. Somebody he, voted for a guy named Ronnie. Ronnie, yeah. Somebody went, go, I go, Ronnie's got my values. That's what a lot of people call Reagan, Ronnie. I just, I'm just raging with Ronnie. That's That was uh, his. He's got t shirts that are in the font of Hulkamania. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Oh, that was the worst. Uh, that was what the worst was Hulk ever. Yeah, I was, what that was, was like, that? That, that was, was kind of like a half, a, that was half you, a macho man. Yeah. I was trying to go into macho man. You were, you were crossing your my, streams on that my one. My voice is a little thin. Um, <laughs> yeah. uh, most of those who said Biden performed poorly were Republicans, but some Democrats said that he showed his age in several of the exchanges. And these were a bunch of people just talking about behind the doors, political exchanges they've had with Biden. And uh, Jackson is saying this. Uh Again, the same, Ronnie? the same guy. Ronnie, raging yeah. with Ronnie. Yeah, yeah. He says, I think the fact that it came out like this and is so well sourced tells me that this might be the left's first attempt to start laying the groundwork to get rid of him. Oh, uh, dude, somebody put out so there it is. that there's like somewhere there's $5 million on total bet that it's, Ob it's Michelle Obama. Oh, really? Yeah, I forget where it was. It was on a Twitter page, but there's money right on it's Michelle Obama. See, I still don't think it's her. If it's anybody, it's Gavin Newsom, which is ridiculous. But I mean, he's just, it's just hot garbage. But it, it's just like, dude, like, did you see where he's with like the French president? What what is their what Macron. is their leader called? Macron. Macron and his tranny wife, right? <laughs> yeah, she's boy. like, dude, she is so. It's, it's so, so obvious, dude. She looks just like that it's guy. It's so yeah. obvious, right? Oh yeah, here you go, right here. This is from something called DL News, so take so, it for what it's worth. But betters put millions on Michelle Obama winning presidential election. This is a few months old, but there are some uh, speculators who already bet two point three million that Michelle Obama will be the next U.S. president. So. The, the only person that might be able to beat Trump is a black trans. <laughs> is a black trans. See, she would get just curb stomped in a national election. I, I think she would. Yeah. I, I the problem with with her is like she could have ran. Like, like eight years ago, and had the protection of the news. That's dead. There, that, that doesn't exist. Why do you anymore. say? It? What do you mean by that? Like the 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 legacy media does not exist because they burned out their credibility. And yeah, the they're just done. It's okay. like it's like what, what you're watching the same thing happen. To yeah. sports talk radio. As she could have come after her husband, is what you're saying. Like she could. That been, was her uh, best bet because okay. they could have protected her and astroturfed it. It just doesn't exist anymore. Like that. That mechanism does not exist to shield her from any truth. Which is you got a dick, <laughs> right?
So, so I, I, dude, do you think Trump would have the balls to confront her on that on uh, on like a debate stage? Possibly. I mean, dude, you would win the election. It'd be the best thing that it would ever be happened. The Can you if imagine you, that? Yeah. <laughs> The only thing she's the only thing Michelle Obama can beat me in is size of dick. Boom! Walk <laughs> off. Oh! oh boy. Yeah, it'd be crazy, dude. But he'd uh, do it. He'd do it. So Gavin Newsom will probably be it, and so. it's just like their only thing they're banking on is that he's just attractive looking guy, and these rich white liberal women cream for him, and that's it. Unless, that's it. unless, and this is what I partly think. The idea is for Biden not even to win. They just so they're just trying to get him across the finish line at this point, so he can lose gracefully, and then they. I mean, you know what I mean. I think there's some gentleman's agreement at the top, and they're like, "All right, Biden's getting it this time. Trump, you'll be back in." I really do. I, I mean, it's possible. My, my deep it's conspiracy possible. brain feels like that maybe. But. I mean, and, and Trump. There's a lot of things that Trump's are, Trump is saying right now that makes you think he's just going to stay the course of what Biden's yes. doing. Just played a little different. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Appeal. To There's a different nothing group. Yeah. that I do not. I mean, like, what did Trump save us from? Yeah. Because as long as half of the country is pleased at any one time, then the country's not going to turn into a, you know, like a mass riot. And like, I mean, they did put just put giant fence around the, the White House. Did you see that? Oh, no, I didn't. See oh, that. yeah. They just put a giant fence around. Something's going on. Huh? Right. Weird. Something's going on. It's like that dude. movie Civil War. That's what they. Yeah, did in that I movie. mean, dude, dude, I, I, I was, I, I'm getting ready, dude. That's why I'm in jujitsu class. I'm yeah. gonna choke out some zombies, dog. You don't have to choke out zombies. Did you just stab them in the head? You, you, haven't you watched Walking Dead? Yeah, I don't care, dude. I'm gonna be choking out my neighbor and shit. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, I, I, like, dude, my neighbor just keeps taking more land. What of the parking area? Now he's brought. Bought, now he's got like some nineteen. Like, oh, the guy seventies oh, like yeah, yeah. fancy car. The guy they, you had it out. Oh with yeah, a dude. Years. They got like three lines now. They're just they're ju their whole like their whole front of their uh, driveway is Sanford and Sons, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Is he fucking with you? you think? Uh, yo, dude. They want war. I mean, like they're they're gonna. It's gonna be like they're not gonna stop until we're swinging on each other. And this is the guy a couple weeks ago who was putting his trash cans out to yeah, block. Yeah, he parking still does stuff. it. Okay. He still does it, even though the landlord that he lives told him not to do it. He still does it. And you said they live together or next door to each other? I, there's two houses in one area. But are they attached? Or is yes, it, okay. they're attached, but they're two like I got residencies. Separate, separate. Yeah, they don't live together. Yeah, together. Yeah, but, yeah, I yeah. Guess. It's crazy though. So I'm getting ready for Armageddon, Johnny. You think you're gonna have to roll with this guy? No, I mean, no. I, I would just. I'm. He's just, older I, than you, right? Didn't you yeah, say? I mean, he literally looks like like Carl from from uh, Aqua Teen <laughs> Hunger Force. That's literally yeah. who my neighbor is. <laughs> right. I think you got that, dude. Uh, I, I really mean, we do. could see, dude. I don't know. Anyways, I'm worried about your hips now, though. I just like the well. You know, the biggest thing right now is like when I sleep. If I can't sleep with my hips out. Right, like Your hips normal. Out. What like, does that mean? Well, well forever, because Pollyanna ha loves to sleep with me. She'll lay right on my legs, would like crush my hips, and it just like it happened for so long. Well, I'm that glad she's I doing all right. Though. That's good. Yeah, she's doing. She's back. I mean, oh thank God. Right. I know people who that happened to their dog. They just off their dogs. Oh yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Once they start doing that, da, 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 you like everyone's like, oh, it's gone, and they off them. It's like, no, they got to get nausea medication. That's crazy. That's it. Yeah, dude. Some people just looking for a reason off their dog. Oh, like, yeah. Oh, oh, they are, for sure. He yeah. farted. Oh. <laughs> or how about the people, like, the dog's too old, so they bring him to the kennel? Like, oh. dude, go fuck yourself, okay? Right dude, there. Dude, I, 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 I follow this Facebook page that puts up dogs like that, I and sometimes people, they'll just be like, these people brought in this senior dog. They've been with their family for 15 years. And they, they just couldn't take care of him because he's too old. And I'm like, what? Are you serious? What are you serious? doing? What does that mean, you lazy those, piece? There's got to be like a psych... Those are like NPCs or something, like a psychopath. Yeah, they're just that. scumbags. I, I, that just... I mean, I don't even want to... Dude, we're going to be carrying Pollyanna around in a wheelbarrow. She's like... wheel. She put me poop right in my hand. Yeah, I mean, it's like a family. Yeah, it would be... 100%. That, I feel the same way. It's like a family member. Yeah. 100%. I know that's kind of like a, a, a super, you know, sort of like... A, a granola mom kind of I don't thing, know. but I, 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 don't I, care. I Johnny, I think the uh, you know, like my grandfather used to leave the dog outside. My mom told me, but it's ever like the next generation always brought it in. Like, that's funny. right? But you think that's a thing? Like, because in the South, everybody's dogs are outside. That's so crazy. They're just to running me. free. That's so crazy. I mean, they have dog houses to come into, but what do you think a dog house is for? That's where they sleep. 
Right. That's where when we're outside hanging out, that's where they no, go no, hang. That's where they live. Yeah, I mean, that's it's just crazy house. to me. Yeah. That's just barbaric and crazy Well, it's to different me. here because dogs yeah. don't have anywhere to yeah. roam well, in yeah, the yeah. city. Yeah, but. and you guys also didn't allow black people to come to school for a long time. So, you know. Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> fair enough. I won't deny that. Okay. okay. Uh, Johnny, are, we, are, are you with me? Uh, on this this theory that uh, the people at Starbucks are getting more and more retarded. I don't go to Starbucks, but I sound, Where do it sounds you go? right. It sounds I don't get I, I make my own coffee if I make you it. You make your own coffee. Are you growing it? Are you growing your own coffee? I don't have a lot of caffeine. How come nobody ever goes, oh, I grow my own coffee? <laughs> yeah. Nobody ever says that. <laughs> no, you Nobody's like, that. how off the grid are you? I, think I grow it might be my hard. own coffee. <laughs> I think it might be hard to do. Like, is it? Is it like cocaine? Certain, I think it needs to be like high climates, you know, like I, cocaine. Yeah, oh, yeah. I can't like just build a tent and make yeah. it humid and build coffee and cocaine inside there. Yeah, I don't. I think it's got to be like. Can high you look up? Is it hard to grow cocaine? Cocaine or coffee? Either one. Okay. Well, should we ask Chat GPT? She'll have Chat GPT. Not quicker. that we want to do this, but well, could, I'll, just, I'll ask via text. Uh, uh, can you do it in a Colombian accent so he, they <laughs> like think Juan that you, Valdez? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Remember those commercials, those Juan Valdez commercials? I am Juan Valdez. We make the very finest Colombian coffee. Yeah, you know that guy beat his wife when he went home, too. Only if she's bad. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is How it, many kids do you think Juan Valdez had out of, Juan out Valdez. of, out of, out of wed, wedlock? I have a woman in every village. <laughs> You, you know that guy humped the help, oh, right? right? For sure. That guy for sure humped What do help. you think these bags on my donkey are full of? Condoms, my friend. <laughs> you think Juan Valdez was use, was wearing condoms? Sheepskin. <laughs> no, that lamb, guy was lamb raw skin, dog huh? and superstar. <laughs> uh, is it difficult to grow coffee? And is it similar to <laughs> cocaine? <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got. Uh, growing coffee and growing coca plants <laughs> from which cocaine is derived are quite different in terms of cultivation requirements, legality, and purpose. We know about legality, bitch. Oh, fuck your uh, legality. Coffee plants thrive in tropical climates and consistent temperatures. We're talking 60 to 70 degrees and well-distributed rainfall. That's why you couldn't do it much around here, I guess. Best grown at elevations between 2,000 and 6,000 feet. So can we go to Denver and grow coke? I think, yeah, I mean, I guess it requires also rich soil, but Denver's, you know, gets really cold. You need, like, rainfall and, like, a steady temperature, it sounds like. Oh, is there areas in California that are good enough? Coca plants prefer tropical and subtropical climates. We're San Diego. Can I grow my own Coke in San Diego? 77 to 86 for Coca. Uh, they're typically grown at lower altitudes, but can also be cultivated at higher elevations in the Andes. Coca is grown from seeds and or cuttings. Johnny, can you look up buy coca seeds right now? Can you just see if we? I'm just thinking, can we buy coca seeds? Oh dear. Um, let's see. Um, I don't. It doesn't seem like. I mean, I don't. I think you'd have to. Go it's on the not dark, like Amazon. You'd have to go on the dark web. Can I bundle that? Can you buy? Can I buy coca seeds at a yoga mat? Coca seeds on the dark web. Let's Johnny, see. now you're getting dangerous. I used to buy shit on there all the time, bro. I used to. Okay, uh, this was a long. Whatever the statute of limitations is on this, this was before that. I used to go on there and buy Whole Foods gift cards for tw twenty cents on the dollar. And dude, I'd, I'd eat everything I ate for about a year was Whole Foods. I got everything twenty cents on the dollar because they were stolen. Obviously. Oh, I mean, really? Yeah, and I get them off the dark web, dude. They just send you the code. I go How many there, would you get? I go like 500 bucks worth. Like, tw that's, you know, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 bucks worth of, uh, of, uh, and then to 500, I'd be $500 worth of Whole Foods shit. Johnny, for $60. you are just a dangerous man. Well, dude, I mean, I was scrimping and saving, bro. I mean, that was. I know. love how you just admitted to a felony right here. It was before the And then you were worried about, can I get coca seeds on Amazon? I didn't know if they were stolen. They said they weren't stolen on there. Okay, well, that's legally legal. Yeah, I just assume now in hindsight, since I'm wiser and older, that they probably were stolen. Okay, there is a, Johnny, can you ask ChatGPT what is the statute of limitations on, on this? On what, if, what if it? What well, if, it's probably been decriminalized. Let's be honest. What what, what if it uh it expires tomorrow and it's just like perfect timing? Yeah, that would be <laughs> like, dude, it expired yesterday. It is possible to buy coca 
seeds on the dark web, as well as on some less conventional online platforms. Find however, out Etsy. Can I buy coca seeds on Etsy? However, it's important to note that the legality of purchasing, importing, and cultivating coca seeds varies significantly oh, by country. Oh, I can't country. get any American coca. In the United States, while the seeds themselves might not be explicitly illegal. All right, now growing, we got wiggle room. Growing coca plants is illegal due to their association with cocaine production. I like that, their association with cocaine Well, production. I just want to use them as kind of a sprinkle on top of my muffin. <laughs> what like poppy seeds? Yeah, yeah same yeah, yeah. difference, right? Yeah, okay. Um, oh, dude, what if you went to Starbucks and they had coca muffins? And you get you're just tweaking out. <laughs> well, you hear that was always that old wife's time, maybe true, about that certain people who worked with the government where they had regular drug testing could not have like poppy seed bagels and stuff like that. Oh yeah, for sure. Because dude. they didn't want to get the uh, I mean I knew people in college that would and I maybe did this time or two. You could buy a shit ton of unwashed poppy seeds. From like garden stores and stuff like that, you just put them in like a cauldron, <sighs> stir it up with some water, and then filter out the seeds and all the particles and shit. And you could drink that and get a buzz off of that. That seems like a lot of work, Johnny. Dude, than people just do buying it. weed. People do it. no, no. It's an opiate buzz. It's oh, not, you it's want not weed. so so what? It's you like it's like you know, heroin, it's like opium. Yeah, I mean that's what it is. It's Johnny, op- you liquid opium. Should, Johnny, you should buy stolen that's, cars that's and, and drink heroin. <laughs> that's not heroin. Is that is it's that like, what you it would do? Be, it would be like a Vicodin or something, like a low level opiate is what opium would be like. Yeah. Unbelievable, John. Heroin's like way up here. I, 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 I never knew you were in North Carolina. Heisenberg. I can't believe oh, this. Oh, this was in college in North Carolina. Yeah, dude. Oh, very. Uh, dude, John, I, did you walk around in a black trench coat? No, no, no. <laughs> no. Nobody would know about that kind of stuff. That's like this shit you don't tell anybody. Johnny, about. the Japanese chicks you were banging, did they think it was hot that you were the no, king of the Asian, dark no web? No, Asians. No, I never had an Asian You loved one. Asians. No, I didn't. No. What? I mean, I think they're beautiful, of course. A lot oh, of them didn't are, you but... upset an Asian chick? You were trying to make oh, a move. You're you said something an stupid. One, an Indian one. Oh, yeah. the Indian one. So, Rada, again, yeah. technically Asian. So, I'm, yeah, on, she is. Yeah, I'm right. on point. Rada, yeah. Beautiful. Right? Beautiful. Right, yeah. Beautiful. Do you ever see where she is? Is she fat now? No, she's uh, a stunning beauty. Still. Does she does she have kids? She has, a, she has one child. Yeah. One child. She kept it right. She, Bang. she did. Yeah. Got to keep those hips she rocking. She's uh, in DC. Yeah. So I go to uh, you know Starbucks and th- th- there's multiple Starbucks. The one, the really good one is where the Twinks work at. On on <laughs> the Sunset. gays are great. Dude. The gays, the gays just, just get it done. They're over no. it. They just want you to get your coffee and fuck off. It's like my doctor's just, office are all gays in yeah, West yeah, Hollywood. Yeah, They're yeah, the best. Yeah, yeah. But the emo ones are the worst ones. Like the 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 guys who are like they were you know they Antifa did up they'll fuck your shit up too and, and yeah. they got yelled at by their parents so they can't do Antifa anymore yeah yeah their parents cut them off so they yeah, had to get a job at yeah, Starbucks they had to get a job yeah. the Antifa kids had to get a job at Starbucks and they hate it and it's just like <laughs> so I, I like to tip Johnny I'm a big tipper guy like I I believe yeah, in abundance too. I believe in giving away but man shit is getting so expensive now. That the tipping is starting to be like a second meal. It's fucking ridiculous. Or like another item. It is. Right? It, is, it has gotten ridiculous. Yeah, it's but, just yeah. like, you know, lunch is $30 here. It's inflation, right? That's what. That's why we can have all the indicators except for inflation say the economy is doing great. And then everybody who says, hey, how's the economy doing? How are you doing? Say it sucks. Yeah, it and I, sucks. I, 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 my money's not going anywhere. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like when Gavin Newsom's like, dude, we just broke the record. We now have more uh, Fortune 500 companies in California than uh, Texas and Florida. And I'm like... You want a feudal system. That's what you want. That's what Extremely have. rich, and the rest of us are just in fight club. That's all he wants. We're just all fighting and, and, and robbing, and that's all you want. Yeah. You want a bunch of barons, and we just all just try to survive on the streets. And how do you think they got him there? It's all with tax breaks and shit like that, dude. I used to, when I worked in the newspaper, part of one of my beats was covering the... Uh, the recruitment of businesses to the town because my that's the county I'm from got <sighs> devastated by NAFTA. Oh, we used to, it used to be a thriving community with a lot of people, a lot of factories, you know, good solid factory work that people could rely on, retirements, you know what I mean? And it was just dev I'm talking about wiped out. There's so many empty factories in my old hometown. And so anytime something would get brought there, it would be a huge deal. Yeah. And they would bend over backwards. I'm talking about giving, paying, paying, literally paying companies to come there, giving them money to build stuff. Unbelievable. Cutting all right? their tax. And that's what California has to do to get them to come here. Right. They don't give you a tax break. They give the 100%. millionaires a tax break. It, it makes no sense for a Fortune 500 company to move to California or New York 
based on the tax code unless you're not going to have to pay taxes. And that's exactly and what And then happens. that does nothing for us. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you got a couple jobs. Oh, yeah, Fortune 500 company. It's not Ford. It's like E Trade, where no, like some yeah. nerd dork. And, no, they're bringing Stanford like nerdy like people who probably are Chinese. And it's like, this is a billion dollar company. It has forty employees, yeah. right? Yeah, all all Chinese spies probably. So you go. So the, like the kid, the kids are fully stupid. And yeah. as you know, yeah, we're yeah. One, we've been talking about on the show. We're not saying we're the first, but we've jumped into the vibe. The downs are rising. They're rising, they're coming up, and I'm going to be honest with you, <laughs> I would prefer them over the employees at Starbucks, because they're they're retarded, right? There's like a big difference between the downs who just want to hug you, right? And just like, you know, like if I gave if I gave a downs $5, it is, they won the lottery. Yeah, yeah. Do you know how much candy they could buy for five? They think they could buy all the candy, right? <laughs> That's what they think. They're like, I love my dollar! And they're going to buy all the fucking candy. For five, I give five dollars to Starbucks. They, they, they just stare at me. You should have spit in his face. Yeah, that's about the same. Yeah. Well, it's like so. I go for so. I, so Johnny's like, we, you know, we got it. We got to get this done. I got my kids tomorrow. I can't record tomorrow. I got to hang out with my kids. I that's love you it. saying that. To be I did. Right. Johnny's like, well, we can do it tomorrow. I'm like, I can't. I have to do it today. I got to get it done because uh, we got we. This show's on fire. We're top 190 every uh, every week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. By the way, can I just say I love that you categorize this show as part of a growing movement, recognizing that the downs are rising. Like there's this ground swell. There is this ground swell. The- <laughs> there is a ground swell. It's like us, Revenge of the Sis. As and group, by yeah. the way, we are not anti-downs. We're not mocking downs. No. We are simply... Doing play by play in society, like no, I mean we have one on tinfoil. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean uh, we have uh, Xavier Guerrero who had a bad week this week on tinfoil hat. He's so hilarious. <laughs> so Johnny has a theory that uh, that Xavier Guerrero's brain is frying <laughs> like refried beans. <laughs> The okay. drugs, the drugs because that EDC he, like, got him. Like, oh. we work one day a week, and yeah. sometimes he's like, oh, I can't make it. We have one school night. Yeah. One day a week. One school and night. he's like, I can't make it. <laughs> and he goes, and he, like, thinks his Durango, his 1985 Durango or whatever he drives, can haul a, f- a freight to a fucking drug concert. <laughs> so he's doing drugs, and his car's on fire, and it's <laughs> not going well. And then he shows up in, like, some Negro League uniform that his yeah. buddy just... Fucking sold him because nobody's buying Negro League baseball jerseys yeah. anymore. He's got the most random jerseys, dude. And I'll be like, what, are you a fan of uh, the Montreal Expos? And <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. who's that? The, the Beat Town Coons? Are you, are you, are you, are you <laughs> buying that? Are you going to buy that, that, that jersey? Okay. So he shows oh. up. And then we'll have this long monologue where I'm trying to let the guests talk because one out of the hundred a thousand people listen to Tim Fall Hat. Uh one of them will say, Let the guts talk. So I think one person equals a million complaints. You do that. So yeah. I'll be like, okay, I'm gonna let you talk. Okay. It's hard not to be that way though, to think that. Yeah. Right? So I'm like, okay, I'll let him talk. And then just because Xavier feels like he has to have purpose in the show or something, like I don't know, something happened where so he's he, on a timer. You know? Like he well. feels like He's like somebody's like, oh, you don't do nothing or whatever. And listen, oh, bro, I haven't said anything for 15 minutes. <laughs> so he's like, uh, hey, and then he will literally ask a question about what she just talked about or they just talked about. Or he will find a way to rephrase something they just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> he got he had some bad ones, though, like where like, she had literally just she's at like the, the very beginning. Know, they are the that. Anunnaki. They are the uh, they are the and that's my Polish hot Polish chick. Yeah. By the by the way, hot Polish chick was on the show today. Oh yeah, right. Ola, she Ola. just dropped Ola hot. Ola, you know what I'm saying? Ola, oh. bang bang pow. And it's like it's so hard to not go monkey. Yeah. Uh, uh, like just knuckle dragging monkey. Oh well, XG. Uh, he did. Go. Yeah, I mean, just start thinking of weird shit she's into. You know, I mean, so, the way I, we cut a little something out of the outro, but, but <laughs> XG right is, away is like, like, oh, yeah. what a smoke show. Dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so she's like, she's like, uh, you know, she's like the, the uh, archons, the de- you know, the gods, the doom for the gods, the Anunnaki, the Anunnaki they're known as the Anunnaki. And then he'll be like, oh, so uh, 
Do you have any thoughts on Anunnaki? <laughs> I look at it and go, what? 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 Yeah. He just try. You know what it is, dude? It's because I've been there because I did a lot of drugs. Your brain just wanders. You're like, you're looking, but you're not, you're not really looking. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's exactly kinda, what you're saying. It's kind of like your vision goes inside your head and you just wander. Yeah. No, I know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Right? Right? It's not a foreign concept. You me, just no. wander and then you realize you, how, you don't know how long you've been wandering. Yeah. So you just try to kind of hear a sentence she said and then you try to ask a question based on that one line that right. you heard. Yeah. And he's like, oh, 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 God. I'm Anunnaki? <laughs> we love you, Rex. And, and then what do you do for the next guy oh, that I isn't out yet? Yeah, I can't remember that one. It was the same deal, though. It was the exact same thing. Yeah. Do you believe in uh, Tataria? No. I will tell you, there are times where Xavier nails it. Yes. Oh, knocks yeah. it out of the fucking park. Yeah. And you're like, Wow, yeah. that is really adding to the direction of the interview. It's like that scene in old school where Will, Will Ferrell kind of blacks out for a second and answers that really complicated math question, you know, yeah. and then comes back. It's like, oh, yeah, That's it's occasionally like, you know, what what will be is like we are like uh, Tim Fall has like choose your own adventure. Right. And yeah. we yeah. are working with the guest to pick out the adventure. And then when we're running, and then we go in and then we'll be like, should we go to page 55 or 57? Everyone goes, 57. And Xavier's like, hey man, what do you think about uh, page 55? <laughs> and now it's going in another direction. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was funny, dude. Yeah. <laughs> it was funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was. We love you, actually. No, clear. we love Xavier Guerrero. Yes. Xavier Guerrero yes. and if we is a big such part of the show. Yeah, we wouldn't and we love him. He was on my side when nobody else would. He's still here. Where is off the grid Ryan? I don't know. I don't know what that means, though, because I have known you longer than XG, and you're saying he was on your side when nobody else was, which means I wasn't within, on your within side. Within the tinfoil hat universe. Okay, all right. Because I, when, when... A big when, Sam Tripoli backer. When, Tim, Tim, when Ryan left after we had our eighth yeah. fight, yeah, and... Because just that's just right. Ryan is the most loving person who's also is just he's a free spirit. He's a free spirit and he but he has a lot of rage. And that rage can consume him. I like Ryan. And so we got a fight, he quit, and I had to run the show by myself. Can you say or do you remember what it was about the fight? I mean, one of the fights was over where, like, we were interviewing Brody Stevens. On Tinfoil? On Tinfoil Hat and it's the premium content. Oh, I see. Okay. And What, that thing in the basement of the comedy store? Yeah. Okay. And I don't know if it was the last fight. I, I forget what the fuck the fight was about. That's how That's uh, how these things go. No, 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 no. I, it might, you know what? It, when did Bro? Oh, so this, this was after Brody. The many times him him and I got in a fight, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I, I'm trying to think what was the big reason he just left. I forget what it was. I forget what it was, but it was it was something to do with the show and and just respect. Give Which it. is natural. I mean, we mean you've had a couple, but we get over it quickly. Yeah, but, and yeah, I, and it's, it's just like, well, you know, it's like you're you're somewhat sane, you know, <laughs> of the people you're probably the sanest. Yeah. <laughs> Which is and, not saying much. And I am much. including myself in the crazies. Yeah. Even though I've grown a lot. And you don't know all there is to know about me, let's be clear. Yeah, but, yeah Johnny. As, as, yeah, as Johnny. You know, we're going to find out one day that you're like some <laughs> fucking Israeli spy. Oh, you're, no, nothing you're like that. You're Mossad or something like, like that. that. No, just, you know, I mean, I'm a, a depressive and, you know, a horribly neurotic. Yeah, but you, all your pets die because you killed them, serial killer no, no, style? No, 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 nothing like that. Never, I wouldn't harm them. You stick your dick in I, weird I shit I literally like take wood. spiders outside instead of stepping on I know them. you do, Johnny. What was I talking about? Oh, oh we were trying to figure out, figure out what that fight was with Ryan. I don't. So, anyways, so I'm going. So we're on our way to the show. We we gotta do the show. The show's been going really well lately. So let's keep it going. So I need to get coffee here because. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna tell the Ryan, the Ryan, like, uh, what happened with you guys? I, I because I don't remember what oh, it okay. is. All right. I just remember I just it's like we so. just get to a point where it's just you're gonna say how Ryan, XG came on the show. Ryan. Though, so. 
Ryan has like um did he quit or did he kind of get booted? How'd that he look? quit. He quit. Okay. He he quit, brought back, quit again. Then when Brody uh no longer lied himself. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Then he came back that brought us back and we were good friends for a while. Then he came to live with us when I first had the babies because we needed help. He's good with kids. Then that went crazy. And then he left, and then he came back again, and now he's gone. And where, he's been. Where, does he leave the state? Where does I don't he go? Know, nobody don't knows even, where nobody he goes. Knows. Okay. And like other people who knew him, right? I just imagine him in Joshua Tree or something. Because like you get really concerned with him. You go, "Are you okay?" Just tell. And he wouldn't return your phone, phone calls. Mm. And then you you know we talked to these Koreans who knew him, and they're like, "Oh, he's in Vegas at this festival." You're like, "Okay, can you just tell us you're not dead?" And I then that's that, it. Right? Yeah, it's crazy. Anyways, so I, I'm coming here to do the gig. I don't even know that's going to make the cut. Well, and then uh, the point to, of that was to say that that's when XG joined. Yeah, and that's when XG joined because there's a lot of people that were upset that Ryan wasn't on the show anymore. I see. Okay. And then, you know, XG came and stabilized the show. And he was going to produce the show. He was going to produce the show. I just put him on. You just made him <laughs> the, the co-host. Yeah. That great. That's so funny. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't know if you could do that. Uh, you know? It worked, dude. No complaints. So I, um, so I, I have to get a coffee. I get. I got a. Starbucks has done this thing where you can't get the citrus, the citrus uh, jade tea by itself. That sounds this disgusting. You gotta. You gotta get it with like a giant sugar dish, like it's a giant sugar drink. It's got like lemonade and all this stuff. It's right. like five. It's like six dollars. It's like you can't just get it by itself. It's just a tea right. that they had all this stuff to. Yeah. So and but because Starbucks is just chaos. Depend. It all depends on what, what, uh, what of the, um, the 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 location you go to. Because some will be like, yeah, we don't care. We'll give it to you. And other people are like, yeah. no, no, That's no. So stupid. Yeah. So anyways, I'm about to go into the drive through here because everything in L.A. closes now. It's crazy to me. L.A. is not a night town. New no. York City, night town. Miami, night town. L.A., not a night town. It used to be a little more. When I first moved out here, it was a little bit more, but the the panty dude, the, the perm dermer, killed, uh -huh. killed this for YouTube if you're listening. Oh, and Bible. Uh, oh, yeah. It, I'll I mean, get into just that. killed it. Just killed the just, night Is that scene still here. a word that we can't say? I, I don't I don't know. I just don't. I don't. It's just unbelievable. Mess with it. So, 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 what am I talking you're in, about? You're oh, in yeah. The oh, yeah. So, all the Starbucks, all the Starbucks are closed. You gotta find one that's open past nine o'clock, which is I can understand. You're like, who wants caffeine past nine? Yeah, Scumbags, like, yeah. former speed freaks <laughs> yeah. who just yeah. want to run the red line. The alternative is much worse. So. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so you gotta find them. A lot of them close. A lot of them like look like they they close really early. It's like weird. LA well, it's because people were setting them on fire during the you know the pr protests and everything, and then we had the spring during. Yeah. And, uh -huh. I mean, I get why they want to close because they don't want to get you know. Knocked off by, I mean, all the seven. I can't find one grocery store or, uh, I mean, one grocery store is open late night. They used to all be open after midnight till like 2 a.m. And I can't find any 7 Eleven or AM PM that will let me actually go into the store. Dude. I, I have to ask an Indian guy to go get me some Mentos. Yeah, it's so crazy. It's bro. very annoying, though. You're like, like, you want Mentos? Uh, what do you want the Mentos, Mentos for? Yeah, I mean, what do, you, do you want the Coke uh, to put the Mentos in to watch it explode? I mean, think about how hard it is to describe this weird low-carb brand of Pop-Tart alternatives to a guy who doesn't speak English. You know what I mean? And he's got to go find that. So yeah, just like, it's oh. just awful. Do you think they're born into that? Like, it's like, uh, like, like that's where all of the the uh you know old war criminals go like <laughs> like dude the guy i knew masood the guy who i was really close with my old place who worked at the 7-eleven i'd see him there every night we got on a first name basis we catch up with each other he was studying to be an attorney and left to be an attorney bro he was in law school oh damn at the 7-eleven no dude yeah. imagine if you went to that that ampm and then that was your lawyer when you were just being tried <laughs> yeah. for a crime you didn't You're commit like, oh, i'm fucked <laughs> <laughs> you're like Masood, what are you doing here why are you wearing a suit i am your lawyer yeah that's how you talk dude i'm being tried for a crime i didn't get that is i'm going to get you off okay trust me on this one Hey man, those guys work hard. I got, they are I got, hard workers, yeah. God dude. Bless them. They know how to spell. Their kids know how to spell. So <laughs> I see this drive-through over here, right? 
and I, I, oh, I'm going to use it. Well, I'm about to go in and like, I don't know if you know this, Johnny, but like for some reason, LA just likes to put up traffic cones and dividers for no reason. There's no reason to have a divider here, but we're going to put a divider here because we're energy vampires and we want to feed off your anxiety. So, so I, I, I got to shoot it, dude. I got to shoot it. Which means, which means the actual drive-through is about two car lengths up, and I just gotta shoot it. I just gotta, I gotta, I gotta break the law. Are you cutting somebody off? Is that what you're saying? No, I'm on count. I'm, I'm planning my time. So I'm planning the this car's coming. Go. I'm gonna go right after him. He he begins to go. I'm ready to shoot it. He he goes like he goes like uh oh looks like a whole heap of trouble for those duke boys kind of maneuver <laughs> right just like bah, ah, ah, in to the starbucks just and i'm a like good old boy yeah <laughs> look never at, mean no harm. Harm. all they ever Beats wanted all well, you never saw been in trouble with the law since the, the day, day they, they were born, born. Do- johnny what if you nailed that so hard they hit us with a copyright strike <laughs> They're like, dude, that was so good. <laughs> too close, man. Yeah, too, too close, bro. Too that close. is just golden voice right there. They just, what if they just wouldn't refuse to believe that that was live? So at some too? point, this guy's like, we need coffee. Bang. So he just, oh, I thought it was going to roll over the way he turns in, right? He gets in. I'm like, okay, dude, I'm breaking the law, but you're stupid. <laughs> so I get behind him, right? And I I, I break the law. I get there. Uh I, sh- I turn where I'm not supposed to How turn. How are you supposed to get in there? Though? That's the part I don't know. Well, the, I, I, they basically want you to go up. Go circle the block and come back around? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's absolutely ridiculous. That's so stupid. It's so dumb. Or go around and do a U-turn back. Uh, and the only I reason like I can that. think of is that they just don't want people stopping right there because it will cause a, uh intersection problem. Right? Like if everyone's back. I backed think the energy up. vampire thing's real. Dude, I drove, we drove to Palm Springs the other day. There was... About 45 minutes of driving in Orange County where they had the fast track lane just closed down only because they hadn't put the cameras up yet. They wouldn't let you drive on it. The road was if totally I see fine. Tra- construction cones, if I see truck cones, there better be there dead nothing. bodies or something getting worked on that needs to be worked on. For 45 minutes we yep. drove and there was nothing. I will fight everybody. And the traffic dude. was bad. And then you ever get there you get to the end and it's just some guy sweeping? Have you ever seen that? <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. He's just sweeping. Just he's got like a little you, yeah. a little like uh, sweeper and he's like what's it, what's these things called when you, you sweep yeah, it yeah, in? Yeah, I don't know what that is What called. is that what called, is that? Johnny? A, collector, maybe a, a dust scooper? Bin? A dustbin, maybe. A dustbin. There yeah. we go, Johnny. Sorry. So I... I I get in, I get behind them, they take forever to order. And it's just like they're they're doing grocery shopping at this point. <laughs> they're ordering so much. It is so much is expensive, dude. Yeah, dude, so they good. they don't give a shit. They almost died. They're gonna get they're gonna load up, bro. They're they're having we survived death meal at this point, right? <laughs> so so I, they go, I pull up and I, their order's still up. Oh, you can see what they got? Uh. No coffee, all treats, dude. All treats. Why would treats. you go to Starbucks to get food? Dude? Brownies, Rice Krispie treats. It's not even lollipops. that good, dude. Dude, no coffee. None of it's even that good, dude. Just all, like, dude, just diabetes, bro. Ugh. This country. You know, and that's the only thing that I really feel that, like, commercially really needs a mascot is diabetes. Right, like if there's ever like you know, it's like Why? they have like Why? F- they have like foot like uh, athletes' foot is always like my, like my my buddy Steve Randolph says is always somebody from Jersey, right? Like they always have that like ah, I'm athletes' foot. Yeah, yeah. They the, need like a lovable things diabetes the mu- mascot, mucinex, the mucinex, yeah, yeah, green the guy. mucinex yeah. guy. Yeah, right? I know what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. What would be diabetes? What would that? It would just be like a bunch of like. Candy and tri- and just, but it's lovable and it actually makes you want to get diabetes. It would be like the most effective mascot of all time. <laughs> it's, so it's run rampant, apparently. I mean, it's, it's just everywhere, ever, yeah, it's dude. Everywhere. And this guy driving this car who almost died now has diabetes based on his order. It was like seventy dollars worth of shit. I try not to eat any shit anymore. I, I know try, you I are, Johnny. So hard. No, what? but I mean for a while now. I've tried not to like I I'll do like one day a week I maybe I'll have something that's kind of shitty, but that's it, dude. Uh yeah, I I'm mean trying. dude, you're allowed to have a treat. Yeah, yeah, you can't you can't go like hardcore. You'll 
go crazy. Yeah, it's like you know, like like, Brian, then you're Brian Johnson on YouTube, you know, and, and who wants that? No, it looks miserable. It looks miserable. He doesn't eat after eleven a.m., dude. He doesn't eat after eleven a.m. That's it. Is this the guy trying to go backwards? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And like nobody likes you, dude. Well, no, you look like, weird. What is no. the point? You're yeah. what fifty? How old is that guy? Uh, I don't think he's even that old. What do you go to keggers? Uh, he does look better. He, I mean, he used to be heavy, and now he's, I mean, got 5% body fat. So he, he looks like skeleton. nobody cares. Uh, let's see. Brian Johnson, age. He's fifth. Oh, no. Oh, no. He's 46. I'm sorry. 46. But he claims to have the, you know, the biological age of something he like looks like 18 he has AIDS. or something like that. There he is. Like, is that a good look? It's like, dude, I look like I have AIDS. No, I mean, he's very. He's Guys, very listen. Pale. If he you want to be, have, you want to live forever, forever with AIDS. I have, I have just got to spend a million dollars a year. That's it. He also loves taking shirtless pics with his son. Yeah, it's who very he takes creepy. the blood of. He injects yeah, the blood yeah, of his son. Yeah, 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 yeah. Weird shit. And he's paying a lot of money to to get into like to do partnerships with other YouTube channels who are like going and hanging out with him and seeing all his stuff. There's him with his dad and his. That's a really weird photo. There. Yeah, it's just really Look weird this, and it's very uncomfortable. Look at that photograph. And it's it's it looks like it stinks. I can, like, I, I, I'm i staring at that. I go, there's B.O. rocking. I don't think he eats any meat. I think it's just like a his big meal is a bunch of vegetables with chocolate on top of it. But, like, who are you hanging out with? Well, I, sorry, I saw him the other day say that if the air quality is bad outside, he doesn't even leave the house, bro. But do you want to live that life? No. Like, you can't run from death, dude. You just can't. No, well, you can, you can, there are certain things you can do definitely to put it off, but is it worth it at this point? You know, when you go to this extent, uh, I would argue probably not. Yeah, uh, it's just not good. And I mean, it's look just at him like, right here. is look he hanging this. out with his kid? He looks like now he, you're looking trans. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. What is this? Yeah, this just decided to shoot estrogen too. Mesh shirt. He's yeah, look him. at that, dude. Like, you're getting into weird German bondage shit at this point. That's, That's your vibe. Like. Yeah. That's yeah. your vibe. You're he like, like he's gonna be down at Pride. Yeah, you go, hey, dude. There's a good chance that this guy who thinks he looks 19 but looks like he's a 40 year old full blown AIDS. Okay, he probably has a butt plug in. That's his vibe right there. Can you guess if I have a butt plug in? I think he is a one. Uh, he would be into that kind of thing. He because he, all of the stuff he does hurts. Like if you watch it, yeah, he, it's like you, you just want to be trans, dude. And he's covered in look scar. at that. Oh, look at that. What is look that? that? Look at that. What is that? Is that like some weird German gay? Bondage fetish, oh. like look like a German. Look at his plumber. nails. He's painted his nails blue. He's yeah, got, I he's mean, got dude. scars all over him though, dude. If dude, you look this at this guy, skin. will go so long just to give, uh, just to get the I don't like dick, but I want all the dick vibe, right? Look at this picture. Look at, this. Look at that, dude. <laughs> what, is <he> doing? <laughs> what is that? I guess I'm, I've never been shaped to the point where I feel the need to take my shirt off and just. Feel like everyone needs. To I've enjoy never this. felt comfortable with my shirt off. Not I was when I was a kid. I was too skinny, and then like after college, I always felt like, oh, nobody needs to see that. It's too. I mean, because that's a job, dude. Like, how does he pay his bills? Oh, it's a yeah, for sure. It's, oh, he no, he's he's like a uh, tech uh, millionaire. Oh yeah, they're the worst. They're the worst. You mean the people trying to d d get he, us in a digital prison? Those guys. Wait, he was into something big actually. How did Brian Johnson? Yeah. What if he invented Snapchat? Uh, he have he he founded Braintree, a company cl for clearing online payments, and then uh, it acquired the mobile payment app Venmo, which you know about. Uh, Hold on, he owns Venmo. He did, uh, and then they sold it uh, to PayPal. So, oh my yeah, God. he got a shit. And, and like now, PayPal is is making us deal with this this fucking gay vampire. <laughs> <laughs> he lives in Venice, by the way. Oh yeah, I'm sure he does. <laughs> yeah. He's Must probably be. one of those guys that pick up the homeless and go, hey, man, you need a place to stay? Let Never me work that again, route. Yeah. By the way, that's half the episodes on the first 48. Is this like homeless guys often gay dudes who offer them a place to stay at night? The homeless guys are killing the gays? Yeah. Oh, I thought it'd be the other way around. Like no, 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 no. They're like, yeah. hey, man, you want to crash in my house? Because that was, you remember the guy, that the homeless guy, the Jimmy Kimmel? Like he like saved that chick from getting hurt. That guy, by the way, cut no. that out because that guy's suing Theo Vaughn for reenacting that. So cut that out. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. Oh, I got to write that down. Uh, can this go into the, the uh, no. rock fin or nothing? No, nothing. I do Are you not. serious? Yeah, dude, he's suing Just Theo say allegedly. Vaughn. I can't say that. It doesn't matter. If you do that sound effect, he sues you. Oh, the... the I'll just cut out. What? You're doing it again. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, dude.
You may you love making more work for me. Hold on, I gotta. Okay, what time? Where are we? Looking How about at? this? 49. Just show you in the camera and just beep the sound effects. I can't go back and add me. You can, where I Johnny. Wasn't. So, anyways, Johnny. So I see yeah, so this what, guy. What, what, what fucking happens in this Starbucks? I'm dying to know. Well, so I get there. I make my order. I go, "Do you, what are your tea?" She's like, "Peach." I'm like, "Give me a peach tea. Throw a little almond oh, milk no. in there, peach okay? Tea. And give, give me a, a coffee too." I go up, and then she's like, "Okay, uh, is your order uh, tea?" I go, "What?" <laughs> She goes, is your, your order of tea? I go, it's peach tea, almond milk, and honey. Ah, uh, peach tea, almond milk, and honey. I go, okay, is that? She goes, is that it? I go, and a coffee. Oh, and a coffee. I'm like, what are we doing here? <laughs> so now I'm like, I like tipping. I feel, you know, for people who are working a, uh, um, a wage job, yeah. I would like to tip. Service industry. Because job, that's yeah. kind of how it goes, right? Like, you you tip them so that they can make a little scratch over the dog shit money that they're making. But my question is, am I encouraging retarded? Or should we starve them out? Well, the idea is to tip people who deserve it. I don't tip everybody, but yeah, I, the people I, who deserve it, I tip very well. It's very hard for me not to tip. But well, I always, I never not tip, but I'll do like 15, 20% if it sucks. Like that's the bare, the bare minimum, 15%. But if they do really well... So if you well, order a coffee, how much do you tip? Like a coffee, $5? I'd probably tip two bucks or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I will. Yeah, but I, I like, are you tipping that? What, what, Where I don't, she what do didn't even get your order at all? A drive through I would never tip a drive through Yeah, and that's it. Do you tip... Uh, dude, I... So I, I have a bunch of people over so for the fights. I always invite you. You never show up. But that's okay. Because you always invite me the night before. You're like, oh, yeah, I'm watching the fights tomorrow, right? Oh, and when we, should my, I invite you? Like, well, my girls already, already plan stuff. And okay, I, can't I respect that. Yeah. I respect that, Johnny. You're in a functional relationship. I respect it's, that. It's a challenge to, to make plans. It's uh, always a challenge, Johnny. No, no, the relationship's totally, I mean, it's the easiest thing ever. But the to, to plan things with her, like because she likes to plan shit out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do, Johnny. I know what you mean. No, but I, you're right. No, yeah, I definitely think you gotta. You you should not reinforce uh, retarded. I yeah. do not like not tipping. Dude, I made a mistake the other day, dude. I ordered pizzas for the fight. It was and Dana always has to throw wings in. Always. Yeah, Nobody eats the wings. Ah, uh, I love wings. Okay, where Fair, from? Well, they do eat some of the wings. Where from? I forget the name of the Maggio's or something like that. I don't, I don't even know. Yeah. So she orders it. It's so expensive now. And like, so we have a gate. Comes up. It's a tiny Mexican lady who brought her kid, which I think is all a prop. Oh. And the dogs are just barking. Pollyanna looks way tougher. And then Rogers is bop, 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 toy beeping at her. Little you know, dick flopping around. Yeah, with his yeah. giant big dick flopping. <laughs> you know, squeaking. <laughs> And the woman looks scared, right? You're like, ah. I'm like, okay, I feel bad. I tipped way too much money, dude. I gave her a tip like she had serviced us all. She came in and just serviced all of us. For bringing a pizza. For bringing a pizza. That must have been the greatest day The kid is a prop, for sure. The kid, oh, look, I, I had to put her through school. I, I want her to go to you good school. She brings that kid that school that will make her why trans. Why else would she bring them out of the car yeah. to the door? It doesn't yeah. make any sense. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What do you think about? Do you get it a lot where the delivery drivers, if somebody else comes to the door other than the person, I does that happen to you a lot? I get that a lot. Well, they're like, no, I gotta give. No, it to no, him. it's like you see the person that's supposed to be delivering it, and it's somebody else. No, that's really weird. Oh, that happens all the time. What do you I think like. he is? He's just like. Well, no, no. I mean, it's not the same person every. But I'm saying it'll be like, oh, look, Cynthia's coming to bring your order, and then some like 40 year old Mexican guy brings it up, not Cynthia. I've never seen that before. Really? That ha I think what ha I think there's a thing where like one person will have an account, and then a bunch of people share it, maybe to get the and they split the money or something. Oh, that's really weird. But that'd be a great way to be everywhere. The apps now, and I I hate this. They usually want you to put a tip in before yeah, the it's food ever gets there. Absolutely ridiculous! It's so stupid. So you get it. They've eaten half of it. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, right. Uh, so I think now you see hot chick. You tip for hot chick. Oh, then forty year old Mexican guy comes. That's so. What yeah. if he thought that like blonde with big tits? You're like, why is this blonde with big tits delivering pizzas? I can save her. Let me give her a fat tip, and then Juan shows up. Yeah. 
He's got MS-13 tattoos on his face. He's just, have, I've seen it. He's just scoping your place. It's very real. Right? It's very real. Yeah, it's crazy, dude. So I, my daughters love to get on a bike and me push the bike. And they just like... Yeah, I've seen a picture of that. It's right, the cutest thing I've ever right, seen right. in my life. So I, I'm pushing them. We go down this one area. The The biggest problem that I have where I live and why I want to get out of there is that there's power lines all over the place. I don't like it. So there's wait, this, wait, 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 because of like, you think they're fucking with you? Like, yeah, I think okay. they do fuck with me. Okay. okay. And so we, we, we were, I'm pushing them around. There's just, just this patch where the power lines are and there's nothing there but grass. And there's a line and there's people who live right on that block. I go, I don't know how you're living there, dude. There's so much fucking power lines yeah. right there. So, so I'm with them. Now there's a new RV truck on on the sidewalk, at the sidewalk. He's just parked there. And he comes out in a full-on prison orange jacket with a pitcher of beer in his hand. And I'm like, okay, I guess we're going to go down the middle of the street and not yeah. walk past him. I try, he had a dog on a leash, giant dog. I'm like, this doesn't end well. I, I try not to have them see me. I'm trying to move without motion, right? I'm trying to get past the RV without him seeing me. Or him seeing that you saw him. Yeah, right. both. Yeah. Like, not yeah. not trying to make eye contact. Again, there before the great sky go I, but I do not want this guy to see me. No, I totally relate. Yeah. Right? So I I uh, start to move. He looks at me and goes, and he just this, and then he looks at my kids and goes, hey! I, I go, nope. I go, nope. I go, I go hey. Can I give you some advice? I go, oh, no. Oh, no, I'm good. That's like the worst scenario nope, possible. I'm good, buddy. You enjoy your pitcher of beer you're drinking right there. Outside like you, your RV with yeah, your dog roped yeah, up you, to the you wall. You stole that from a Dave and Buster's, and you're drinking out of... You know, uh, do you have a keg of beer ball? Like, whoa, who has a pitcher beer? So he gets a pitcher beer. A 40 like, ounce wasn't Can enough. Can I he tell you pitcher. something? I go, no. He goes, what's your daughter's names? I go, it doesn't matter. No, go, come on. Tell me their names. I'm like, ghost and ninja. And he's just like, he couldn't comprehend what I just <laughs> said. It's just like short circuiting. Yeah, I, go, I don't. No. What? <laughs> it finally pays off. I'm That's like, great. I'm not going to give you their name so one day you could say hey to them when I'm not there and then I never see my kids again. Okay? You're not going to get their real name. Yeah, fuck that guy. Fuck that guy. He goes, can I give you some advice? I go, what? He goes, you should, you should now close the cupboards because that's where the booze is and they'll get into it. I go, what? They're four. <laughs> <laughs> so clearly when this guy was like five right he was stealing he got, booze yeah and that's what became him yeah. a, a lifelong alcoholic yeah. he became so he's, he's, like, he's drinking Bud Light in a pitcher near power really lines. that was the one lesson he had from his life that's and what he, was he wanted giving to tell to me yeah. he's like hey keep your booze for yourself cause these little witches they'll steal your fucking so sweet really, sauce his heart was in the right place I guess I mean in a weird way yeah. in a weird way yeah, so that was it. Yeah. That's so funny, bro. Hey, man, he brought what he could to the party. You know what I mean? That's... Yeah, I get it. God so, bless him. Johnny, I've been working out a lot, and I've been going to the you gym. You say that, but all I hear is you talking about how fat you feel. I am fat because I'm not eating right. I'm working out, but I'm not oh, eating Oh, you can do right. all the working out you want, dude. If you don't get the yeah, diet part like, down. Yeah, it, look you, at me. Yeah, I look chunky. Work. Will you go to, um, will you go to uh, Fallen State? With Jesse Lee? Yeah, I, just I saw, go on I, YouTube. Go on Fall State and look at the picture they used of me and look at my job of the Hut girth face that they used. The thumbnail? Yeah. Okay, look at the on. thumbnail they used for me. Right? Go to. Oh, look, God. Look oh, God. Dude. Look at that. Now, now, that's a. I will say, in your defense, that is a particularly bad photo. Like the angle is bad. Yeah, the angle uh, is just kinda, bad. Your head's kind of pushed back and, and, so it and doubles your chin. And it looks like I have no chin. I just have yeah. multiple chins, right? Yeah, that's not how you look though. Your, right. your, your chin, your neck is not that thick. You don't have a thick neck. I mean, like it's just a weird, it's a weird look. No, you're, 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 what I'm doing is this. So my, it's like kind of. It's doubling your chin. And yeah. I look chunky. Yeah, no, that's so funny. <laughs> 
I mean, you know, he's not looking his best either. No. Look at this, dude. Look at this motley crew he's had on the show. Yeah, dude. what is that guy? Because the Undertaker. Yeah, look something. at that Who guy. That Atheist guy? Alliance of oh, America. Oh, that looks about right. Yeah, that guy drinking wine. This guy's wine. doing his, uh, yeah. his steel. Yeah. What is that? Yeah. Uh, blue steel face yeah. here. Yeah, Jamie. Look at oh, that. Oh, there's Jamie Kennedy. Jamie Kennedy is the best. So the feedback has been pretty good so far on that episode. And um, What episode? Oh, the jet, oh, has it been out that long? Yeah, it went out today. So I um I saw the the like the preview thing yeah, that you shared. Yeah, and it, was, yeah. it was so you got some good lines in the preview. Thank you, so thank I, you. I got to go back and watch it. Thank you. So I appreciate that, Johnny. And just get back to something you brought up earlier, which is the traffic. And it's getting ridiculous now. We're coming here on Friday night. It's after nine o'clock. Yeah, it's absolutely ridiculous, Johnny. And here's the thing, dude. There's traffic. Okay. Bad is that traffic. is that I believe, Johnny, that they're talking about bird flu, right? We already hear yeah. bird flu's on the way. That, by the way, disease X they thought was going to be cute, that died, right? They're like, oh, disease X coming. It's like, dude, what what is this? A fucking X Men uh, movie? <laughs> disease X? Yeah. Get out of here, dude. Elon already beat you to the uh, yeah, X, yeah yeah yeah. Copyright, sorry. So now they're talking about bird flu coming, and they're going to try to shut everything down. And guess what? I'm all for it because I love pandemic traffic. Okay, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. that's that's all I care about, dude. Yeah, get hey. everybody stay home. I just want to drive everywhere in LA in ten minutes. I want to get to the beach from where I'm at in ten minutes. I want to get to the airport in ten minutes. Okay, shut it down. I need a plague once a year. Okay, <laughs> I need a LA. I need a LA. Everyone we love dies. No plague, fun. kind of thing. Every no. How about this? Not everyone dies. Everyone moves out. Everyone, everybody else loves. Not just nobody we love. Yeah, no one we love. Just everyone moves out. A plague where everyone's like, I don't want to die in this shithole, and they move to Austin. Yeah, again, once yeah. a year. Yeah. So by the time by the time it's like 2030, there's 40 of us left in LA. Yeah, it's just a bunch of podcasters. Just like, us, yeah. a feudal system. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, yeah, dude, do you remember flying like right before, right as the pandemic started? It was never better to fly in America because it was before all the crazy mask shit. But nobody was on the yeah, planes. Yeah, and yeah. I was I was doing a lot of flying around that time. Yeah. They were cheap. You get upgraded first class every time. Oh, it was the best. Bring yeah, it, bring it back. You're right, Johnny. Now you watch a lot of TV. I do. So are you into this gay Jedi shit? The acolyte. Yeah, it's 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 not it's not great. No, I saw I watched the first two episodes. They just came out. It's, Somebody said something really funny. It's not great about it. it. Goes this is what this is what you get when you have a, a female director of a sci-fi movie. She has fire in outer space. Well, There's yeah. like a running fire. There was like a fire oh, campsite I fire. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. No, I didn't notice that. It's that's that's hilarious. But yeah, I mean, and she, it's not just like she's a female director. We're not projecting that onto it. Like she came into this talking about like, I want to bring a female perspective Oh yeah, is it the Star Indian Wars. one? No, no. Uh, oh, so on. they still got her stuff coming out? Ugh. Well, I don't, I don't, let me. Uh. But it's uh, like, this is the one I was talking about last week. The, the, one of the actors was trying to brag about his Star Wars knowledge. It's this woman. Uh, and he clearly knew nothing about it. He was talking. He kept talking about how Anakin blew up the Death Star. He's just like, man, and Anakin, how he blew up the Death Star. Anakin is Darth Vader, of course. He did not blow up the Death Star. That was Luke Skywalker. How dumb do you Star. have to be to not know Luke Skywalker blew like, up the fucking Death so, Star? It's like basic. Yeah. Well, he and he was trying to, you know, uh, it was. I mean, it was just usually. Yeah, this is her with her big glasses and. But it's like, why face. are you trying to do this? Like, what is? Your, uh, why, like, why do you think this, like, what has this woman done, Johnny, that you think she would be good for this? What is her past gigs? Um, uh, let me tell you. Uh, okay, what is her, I don't even know her name. Um, Leslie Headland. And what has Leslie Headland directed before that they're like, let's give her Star Wars? Um, let's, I, I can't, it's something I know, but I can't remember what it was. Hold on, I'm bringing it, it up right Is now. it warranting getting Star Wars? Uh, well, I mean, she was a producer on The Bachelorette. Okay, uh, still not Star Wars. Oh, no, that's right, that's a movie called Bachelorette, forgive me. Still not Star Wars. I'm trying to see what she's directed. Let's see what she's directed. Okay, she has directed, of course, The Acolyte, single, drunk, female, almost family, Black Monday, 
What is Black Monday? It's like a business show, I think. Uh, yeah, it's the one with... Uh, she directed some episodes of Black Monday. It's the one with... Uh, oh, what's the guy who plays uh, War Machine in... Uh, oh, the guy from Hotel Rwanda. What's his name? I he, don't know. You know what I'm talking about. Like, really black skin guy. He's in uh, really dark skin guy. Oh, fuck. What, what is his name? This guy right here. Don Cheadle. You know, it's like his business. It's like a kind of like their version of Billions, I think. Uh, Russian Doll. She directed some of that. Heather's. Smilf. That show Smilf. I don't even know what Smilf is. Just a bunch it's of about com- TV Smurf comedy. Smilf. It's nothing but TV comedy, it looks like here. And okay, producer, but there's nothing it's all that TV says... Com- yeah, there's nothing that would be like sci-fi. No, not a thing. Nothing. nothing. that I can find here, no. And the, 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 the premise of the show, it's like... I mean, it's all... There's the, Wasn't the, the only, last the only one white lesbian? guy in there is like an asshole. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and exactly. It's a bunch... I mean, it, it's, it's a, a good woman and a bad woman. They're twins. And the problem is, like, we will, woke, we will watch woke shit, like Fallout. Yeah. The, the end of Fallout is the white guy is bad dude. Yeah. The 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 ethnic woman is a uh, rebel leader. The white woman is just trying to figure out the world that's been thrown on her. And the feminine black man is now the leader of the re- uh, of the the bad guys. Yeah. So it's like it's the, it, it's all but, blamed on the patriarchy. But that it's whole thing so about the good. patriarchy. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah. That you don't even care how dumb it is. Well, they have to make it seductive for you to want to watch but it. The, but the, but yet, for some reason, Disney doesn't do that. They don't make I, it they're so... They're trying. That's the thing. And, and, I, and the problem is it takes so long to make these that once they realize this is not working, this is like the last no, show you're totally in that right. pipeline. You're totally right. So they kind of have to keep... It's like if you had your sewer line that was backed up with shit, right? Yeah. You'd be seeing shit from like three days ago right, before it right, finally gets right, pushed out. Right, and right. You're like, and wow, that's, that's what, three days yeah, shit. We're, right we're seeing the shit from three years ago when they first hired this woman to, to direct right, this shit. Right, right. And yeah, it's just disappointing, man. I mean, and they it's all started with that Ryan Johnson fucking idea of like, let's move away from what George Lucas did. Let's move away from Luke. Let's make him look like a dipshit. <sighs> well, let's he, burn he's, our well by the way, he's doing a good enough job at himself. Luke Skywalker well, is making actor, Luke Skywalker. Yeah, I love that everyone's like, this is the gayest uh, uh, Star Wars ever. Like, no, Mark Hamill is yeah. pure queer. Yeah, but then he's, he's an actor. I mean, I mean, is he a good actor? No, Johnny? what I'm saying is actors are mostly dipshits. Let's be honest. I mean, dude, I mean, the gayest of gay. Yeah, yeah. They're the not, gayest of gays. They're just playing other people as a job. So what do you think they're going to be? Yeah, I, I like, that's a big problem I think Hollywood has too. Like, no one respects actors like they used to. Like there used to be something where it's like God, these guys like they're they're like, dude, they're almost like heroes, man. They're, but who's like a masculine badass role model type of but, actor anymore? But you know the problem I mean? is, is that they just can't let you enjoy their work. They have to push the most retarded shit on you, and you just can't. You're like, it's dumb. That's that. I, I saw this story the other day about this guy Glenn Powell, who the first time I saw him in Maverick, I was like, this guy's a star, and. A lot of like Spielberg. And oh a lot, yeah, yeah, a lot yeah, of people, yeah, yeah. He's in this the, the sequel to Twister yeah. that's coming out, and a lot of people. Was it Twisted? Like, still it's Twisters. It's called Twisters. Twisters. Oh, we got two of them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a lot of direct. I think it was like Spielberg and a couple of the other directors from the seventies were like, dude, if this guy had just been alive in the seventies, he would have been huge. But right. now it's just he's a white guy in this system. Where nobody wants a, you know, unless you're grandfathered in like Tom Cruise and can make your own mojo, your own heat. Right. Uh, we don't want you. And the, he's, he's, he, this is a guy who would be that, I think. Right. Uh, he if, kind of like in, in Top Gun, they like, they want him to be the guy, but because he's the white guy, they got to give it to a uh, yeah. lesbian Mexican <laughs> chick right, yeah. who like crashed her plane before, but they still pick her. It's like, what? No, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. No. I mean, and basically, speaking of Star Wars, again, uh, the the last uh, what, what Tom Cruise movie? What were we just talking about? Uh, Maverick. Top Ma- they just stole. They just stole Star Wars. Mm-hmm, that's mm-hmm. that's just the plot of yeah, Star Wars. Yeah, it was Wars. the trench run. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it was just like training for the trench run in Star Wars. But even this guy, and like, it was great because it wasn't all this bullshit that we've been getting hoisted onto us. But it's just like decade. I hope this guy just doesn't get involved in it to as long as he can. 
Well, that's what they're saying is his whole idea. He kind of wants, he's on that path. You know, he studied those guys from the past and just wants to avoid it as much as he can and just commit just himself. Just don't get to, political, dude. I would say nobody yeah. is coming to me for politics. I just, yeah. I'm an actor. You're going to do nothing but piss I, people off. Yeah, it's just like, shut the fuck up. And I forget who it was that, I mean, it's just, like you just watch these people and you're like, why are you getting political right now? Dude, Tom Cruise has kind of learned that lesson. I mean, he used to get, you know, he's kind of... when he's jumping on sofas? Right, yeah. But now he's just like, you don't hear shit from that guy. I mean, you don't even hear shit. So I saw the funniest. <laughs> I don't even know, Johnny. Will you try to find this? It okay. was on like Reddit. And okay. it was like, the time I... This guy literally was like, the time I was jacking off in the forest and... Tom Cruise walks up to me and goes, hey, just keep going. And he goes, I was so weirded out, I took a picture of it. What? And it's, it looks like Tom Cruise is in, the, is in the picture. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I wish I could find it. I met Tom Cruise at the park, maybe? Is that? Um, let's see. Oh, this is this it right here, dude? Yeah, that's it. Like, how <laughs> weird is that? It says, uh, sometimes I masturbate in bushes in a public park. One day I noticed a person behind me. It was Tom Cruise. All he said was, proceed. <laughs> I felt uncomfortable and took a picture and left. <laughs> There's no fucking way that's real. But it's too funny. It's too funny not to, it's too funny to confirm or dispute, really. I mean, that's hilarious. Sometimes Look you want, that picture, dude. like Andrew Andrew said, sometimes you want nature jack, doc. I'm, I'm, uh, my first jack was a nature jack, actually. I remember the first time I I I, I pounded oh, the pod. I, I didn't, didn't know. I didn't. Know. I kind of had an idea of what was going to happen from something I watched. So I went into the woods. Just, <laughs> oh, I felt like I had to be away from everybody. I love that, dude. Uh, dude, and what if you were like you didn't know how close you were to an animal, just smelling your scent? Yeah, we don't have a lot of big bears or anything, and not the not the kind. But of it network. really makes me laugh, dude, because I remember when I discovered masturbation. I was like, dude. I just unlocked the keys to the universe. I, I I figured out something that no one's ever figured out. How to punch the munchkin, dude. And I was just Haven't like... Haven't stopped since. Yeah, dude, seriously. It's like crippling me at this point. <laughs> it's just absolutely ridiculous. All right, Johnny, what else do you want to do? Let's hit some news. News, 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 news. So Stephen A. Smith is super pissed uh, because... Well, it, it, here's the thing. If you want to play ball in this certain group, this certain group that for whom nothing is ever good enough, eventually they're going to come for you. I think this chick does radio play-by-play -play for the Knicks. It's Monica McNutt. Let me see. Uh, you want me to check to see if she yeah. does? Yeah. And I will recognize yeah. I'm old, okay? Yes, yeah, she does, yeah. Dude, that's crazy to me. Yeah, New York Knicks primary radio analyst. Yeah, um, and what is her background? Did she play sports? Like she looks like she did. I mean, she's jacked. You know, she looks like. Uh, I don't think she's not. I just it's it's just a weird thing to hear women breaking down the game for you. It's super annoying. Uh, Monica McNutt is. And in by the American. way, before you get angry at me, and by the way, no one is getting angry. Women hate it. They oh, hate hate it. hate all the women. Yeah, being, they do. I yeah. hear women say, "Why is why is she doing this?" Yeah, uh, well, they're trying all, to bring women in, and it's like it's women don't want anything to do with it. Well, women, and, and we don't have a, and even guys don't have a problem with it when it's somebody who's fucking good at it, like like Doris Burke. She's fine. Doris Whatever. Burke is Let fine. Yeah, she's fine. Like I Linda Cohn. I, Linda Cohn was great, bro. Linda Cohn is fire, dude. Yeah, she, Linda Cohn's so good she can have a radio show. Like you listen to her just talk. Sports because like, she wasn't a woman talking about sports. She was just into it, and she she's talked just talking about sports. sports. You know, yeah. Sarah Tiana's like that. She's like a really good. You could listen to her break down sports because she yes. love like when you meet a chick into baseball, like yeah. not just like I got a job talking baseball, but does it on her own. Like Michelle Beadle was okay. Sage Michelle Steele was, fine. was great until she went woke, yeah, and then yeah, she yeah. lost everybody. Well, Sage Steele went the other way, and they kicked. That's why she lost her gig because she went kind of. She came out as a right winger, and they. Right. But yeah, it's like so. Monica McNutt, uh, she played high school basketball at the Academy of Holy Cross. Um, she went to 
Georgetown maybe or something and played a little ball. Uh, it sounds like yeah. And she got a she's got a degree in journalism though, so she's she's come up through anyway. So they're on uh, first take, yeah, but, which is but Stephen it's A. Smith's crazy show. to me, Johnny. Yeah. That they're taking jobs away from former players. Well, here's how fast she came up. She went to school and then she b- began working at ESPN in 2019 as an ACC Network studio and game analyst. Um, but it's I mean, like, like not far out of school. It sounds like yeah, but it's think. it's also just like like that. What you're supposed to do is like you had the guy doing the play by play, right? Well, she got a master's degree in 2013 in journalism. So. Yeah, but but that's not what it's about. No, the guy, no. is, it's supposed to be the nerd dork doing the play-by-play, and that's supposed to be the guy who did it, breaking it down, what he's seen going on because he played the game. Uh, anyway, so here's this video, just really quickly. Uh, this is brief. Um, they're talking about Caitlin Clark and the media attention she's gotten and then the media attention that the WNBA has been getting. All right. Who talks about the who talks about the WNBA? Who talks about women? Who talks about women's sports more more than the more than first day? Stephen A. Respectfully, with your platform, you could have been doing this three years ago if you wanted to. Look at that face. Wow. All right, we gotta go. Okay, you got it. Did you know you're my guy? But who does more for the, 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 I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Why wow. do that? I'm talking to you about oh, the power oh, that you have. Okay. I'm talking okay. to you. Okay. Listen, right, listen. Okay. Let's, let's, okay. You're my guy. I'm talking to you. Guys, 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 guys. I really you, you appreciate missed, it. my girl. But you missed a lot of episodes of First Take. You missed okay. a lot. Steve, three years ago, you were not talking about the WWE. Don't do that. Guys, 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 guys. guys. No, I really guys. Stop it. it. Stop it. Stop it. They have made it unwatchable. It's terrible. That it's is so bad. On Marble Mouth. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't yeah. get how Marble Mouth is this guy that's just. He, I mean, you're talking about Shan Sharp. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't hate Shan Sharp. No, it's a good tight end. Yeah. He, he, he's Marble Mouth. Yeah, and, and Stephen A. Smith is just a loud man who's gotten so Ugh. much wrong, and it's just become screaming. And that's why people like actually like Pat McAfee. He he's doing well, right? Well, yeah, and he also talks like a normal people talk. Right. Like, and it's just about like, things that normal people are interested and it's, in. It's like, this is what's like going Like, he called Caitlyn Clark a white bitch the other day, and yeah. he got a lot of shit for it. But that's how people talk. Yeah, this white bitch. Yeah, Act I mean, like she knows something. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's just crazy. But, but it's she like, was clear. Dude, That was that's the equivalent, though, on national television of trying to murder a guy. You know what I mean? Like, his career. Like, she was coming for his career right there, dude. Well, and they trying do to, that. Like, their they friends. all slit each other's throats over there. I mean, that, 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 that like, cute buddy nose chick, buddy nose chick who does NBA today, like the oh, cute yeah, little yeah, one. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, dude, she got rid of uh, uh, the girl we were just talking about. Um, Rachel Nichols. Rachel Nichols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. She got rid of her. Gone. But dude, and back Stephen to A's this. pissed. He's done like a whole radio commentary about this. He's been trying to get you know retroactively, but I mean, she, you know, they eat their own. That's what we like. They to talk really about. do, um, and it's just like they're going to. to be clear, run. They, I just want to say they I'm talking about is the left, not black people. To be clear, I can uh, see somebody both, thinking that. Yeah. But yeah, okay. But I'm gonna be honest with you, dude. It's just like they're making it, it's it's kind of crazy, dude. Where it's like. You know, it's like you kind of have this guy, right? Or let's say there's uh, somebody out there that you think that should be like bigger that they are, more successful that they are. And you're like, I'm going to help this person, right? And then you bring them in and you quickly learn, oh, this is why you're not, you haven't achieved where you can, because you're impossible to deal with. (laughs) That is the WNBA right now. That is the WNBA. They are annoying Everybody involved with them is annoying, okay? They've had to use a racial like a component to get people to talk about it, okay? And then then it, then they're like, "Where have you been? We've been here forever." Oh god. You know, it's just like, "Hey, you've been begging for us to watch it." I don't believe any of the hype. I don't yeah. believe I like the numbers. I don't believe any of the numbers. Well, and, and what she's saying is all part of this attitude that like the reason the WNBA hasn't taken off is because the media hasn't given it enough attention. But once people see it, they're all going to love it and it's going to be the most popular sport, which is ridiculous. It's just not. It's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's aesthetically not pleasing. It's just not as good. Okay. Sorry. It really does involve the things that everybody hates about basketball, which is... Chucking up threes and layups. It's right? like basketball from the 40s is what it is. Right. Yeah. 
and it, and it, it like and basketball is struggling to keep an audience in in this world of brand new media. Podcasting is now fighting for attention in this world where there, there's so many options. You're telling me in June. People are staying inside to watch women's basketball. Yeah, yeah. Is that what you're telling us right now? Because no. if you go on the road and you do stand up and you get brought into a, a a comedy club that is a cold weather area, nobody comes to see your show unless you're a huge name. Yeah, I don't. I, nobody's going to this. Nobody's going. You can tell too the. I mean, the in arena attendance. It's not unless it's Caitlin Clark's in town. Unless Caitlin yeah. Clark's in town. That's, and yeah. they should be treating her like gold. And then they, they're so pompous about, and it's just like, you're going to run everybody off. You're going to run everybody off. So you just see her walking. Uh, she, I like in these high heels. Caitlin? Like, yeah, she doesn't even know. look like she knows how to walk in high well, heels. I mean, come on. So you tweeted this today and this, we have to talk about this. Uh, this is representative Thomas Massey. He's one of the few politicians I have a lot of respect for. And he's on here talking about, well, I'm just going to play it. If you don't know, APAC, that's the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. Uh, that's the one thing you need to know. Before, he's on Tucker Carlson. That's the one thing you need to know before you watch this. APAC, the American Israel Public Affairs Committee. Is there not registered? Is, is there any other Republican who has your views on this? Well, I have Republicans who come to me on the floor and say, I wish I could vote with you today. Yours is the right vote, but... I would just take too much flack back home. And I have Republicans who come to me and say, that's wrong what APAC is doing to you. Let me talk to my APAC person. By the way, everybody but me has an APAC person. What like, does that mean, an APAC person? It's like your babysitter, your APAC babysitter, who uh, is always talking to you for APAC. They're probably a constituent in your district, but they are you know, firmly embedded in APAC. And it's every common, member yeah. has something like this. Every I don't know how it works on the Democrat side, uh, but that's how it works on the Republican side. And when they and when they come to D.C., you go have lunch with them and they've got your cell number and you have conversations with them. So I've had like that's cr absolutely crazy. I've had four members of Congress say, I'll talk to my APAC person. And it's literally what we call them, my APAC guy. <laughs> I'll talk to my APAC guy and see if I can get him to, you know, dial those ads back. Why have I never heard this before? It doesn't benefit anybody. Why would they want to tell their constituents that they've basically got a buddy system with somebody who's representing a foreign country? It, it doesn't benefit the congressman for people, people to know that, so they're not going to tell you that. Right, dude. People are waking up. That's mind blowing, though. Left and right, they have hand handlers, uh, Israeli handlers. You know what I've learned? Every dude, congressman except Thomas Massey. My biggest issue is I'm blunt force. I've been listening to a lot of comics talk about this, but I've learned. I I, I was listening to a great conversation. I'm not going to say who it was because I don't want to infer that this is about them. But I've decided like what people really like in in com comedy is nihilism. They like the comedian to not have emotions in it and just talk about it from a comedy point of view, which is a great example of like what Ari says he does with with his comedy when he was on Howie Mandel and he went viral with that thing because he put Howie in his place. I haven't. I don't know. What Ari you're has about. a very is nihilist, that recent. Yeah, it, it went very viral. I didn't. I, dude, I'm so. But I, Howie I is very. So I mean, like Ari is very nihilist about everything. He doesn't care. He doesn't, and he'll talk about anything. And he talked. He was like he listed all the stuff they say he would talk about. One oh, was this is the Israeli. You know, and but it was Wait, a whole it, thing. He's like, but he's just that's what this is about. Though he said he wouldn't talk about things. Or something? No, he said he doesn't care. And he, his job is to make light of everything. And I was listening to some comedians on the ride over, and that's what they were doing. But I could also tell they were on the right side of the discussion, right? But they present it as nihilistic, like they don't care. They're just making fun of it. And that, to me, is the way you go when you want to get as big of an audience as you can. I'm not shitting on it i'm just saying that's what i've noticed do you think you might convince more people that way too like i know that's not what you're aiming for is to win, i can't win do it souls, but. i'm blunt force yeah 
I, I wear my emotions on my sleeve, and I'm in head of the game every time. And then everybody will get to that point where they realize what is going on. Well, it's always it seems like there's always been this kind of struggle at the heart of comedy, right? It's either you're like a Hicks type or you're a Seinfeld. You know what I mean? Like yeah. there's either like you're in it. No, you're, you're, you're either a shit talker well, you or you're your, a clown. Yeah, you got your category. But I'm saying like at the very soul of comedy, it feels like either you are that nihilist thing who is just about career and getting the jokes or you, you know, you, or you're shooting doing it on everything. You, some people like, can't not do it. You know what I mean? And yeah, I mean, the, there's just guys who can't. Like Jimmy Dore like he, is a guy who leaves his, wears his emotions on his sleeve, yeah. and it's why he's done really well. But it's very hard to get to that place that Jimmy Dore has. He, has to, he has to put out multiple shows every day, all the very time. Funny, you have to be very. Yeah, very he's funny. like, dude, he's the best in the political. T he's a he's an absolute murder comic. But he's the gold standard of political comedy, in my humble opinion. That's my honest belief. Well, that's a talent to be able to go and go and go like that, too, man. You know, when I watched his last special when he's getting ready for it, I, I go, dude, that, that, I felt like I was watching Bill Hicks. And I'm not, and then that wasn't just me being nice. Well, he loves Hicks. I know he was complimented we, by that. Yeah. I mean, it was like watching Hicks. He's that good. And do you want to hit this? For, is this interesting? Like, is this? Uh, I mean, speaking yeah. of culture, uh, you know, like we were just saying, there were three Jews sitting here. Have you felt? Have you felt the? Uh, are you feeling the? What the the fucking? We're back in the uh, love, we're, dude. We're back. Center of attention again. I love it. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. We were a joke before. Now we're taking it seriously. <laughs> Who else wants some? Who else wants some? <laughs> Are you seeing the positive in this? I see what you're saying. Dude, see this is yeah. this is so funny because even though. Ari isn't young. I, I don't know. I think Ari's 49 now, or is he 50? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, he's getting up there, yeah. But he's like my age, but we're not Howie's age. Howie is 70-something. He's, yeah. no, he's a club comic, like the 70. Came yeah, up he with, came out. Yeah. He, he's been famous since the 80s. Dangerfield, young that, comic dude, special. Dude, think about like, that. Yeah. He's been famous since the 80s. Long time. 40 years. Yeah, dude, I used to watch that movie where he played the monster in that kid's He was great. Bed, I mean, know? dude, Howie Mandel, in the, but it's like he's, again, the germaphobe. That we've talked about before. We haven't watched this yet. This clip? Yeah. No, I, I haven't. I haven't even seen this. I'm okay, never, watch it. And it's just <laughs> uh, yeah, we're back. Before we were just some like joke, like I oh, remember the tribe, like little light things. Now people take us seriously. Seriously? Go ahead, keep pushing the students. See when we push back. <laughs> <laughs> it's horrible. It's not horrible. It doesn't happen. It's statistically irrelevant. It's repeating on the news too much. None of it's really happening. Stop. Are you I, fucking all kidding? So this thing that Ari's doing right now, which, I, like, Ari is, I remember one time we were on Punch Drunk, and we were doing something where we were all seeing who could add it up the fastest, this equation, and Ari lapped us. Like, he's super smart. Yeah, oh, well, Like, course, he's yeah, very yeah. smart in very how he quick, operates. Yeah. And, like, he lays it out, he takes chances, and they tend to pay off. And even the thing that didn't pay off, paid off eventually, Right. People laugh at it now about the Kobe oh, stuff. Yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he came out with his balls out and a, jer a Kobe Bryant jersey on right? at the forum. But Co and nobody killed Ari's him. Ari's doing so. this kind of thing where he's going on podcasts and almost trying to tell them what they're doing wrong. It's just a nice place to be in, I guess. Yeah. That's where you it's like do that. He's just on Burt Kreischer's podcast. I love Burt Kreischer. I love him. And uh, but Ari's like, oh, this is what I hate about comedy. And he's like giving a lecture on how to fucking fix your shit. He's always kind of been that guy, though, right? Like right. the guy who was kind of like an arbiter for comedy. Yeah. You arbiter know I mean? of uh. sorrow. <laughs> um, but remember, like he would go in for the young comics and do that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like he's always so, been that guy. So, so, so run this. Okay. I've seen, I've seen no actual anti-Semitism. Have you? You look Jewish. Yeah, you yeah. walked around, people yelled Jew at you or something. I don't go out. Yeah, good point. <laughs> I don't Isn't that the I craziest statement? Yeah. No, 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 no. I yeah. think it's real. No, no. I think I we got to take it seriously. I think what you're saying is wrong. Are you shaking his head, by the way? Uh, it's it's being on the news. It's you, you, are you familiar with the um? What's that app that tells you all the robberies in your neighborhood? <laughs> Citizen. Citizen app. Yeah. So before this app. Everybody was having a great time in the neighborhood. Yeah. And then suddenly all these housewives are like, there's a robbery every 20 minutes. I can't believe everything's going to shit. <laughs> They're just aware of it suddenly. Yeah. The small percentage. Yeah, Howie does not like this. Oh, you can a tell. little yeah, bit you in colleges tell. you don't go to. Because it's, not, it, it's not there. Stop. It's statistically. When you've been famous and been insulated forever, you need a purpose, right? And Howie's purpose right now is that we got to fight this anti-Semitism. 
because it, gi- it gives him a purpose. He he wakes up in the morning and like we gotta we gotta protect Israel. We gotta yeah. we gotta protect the Jews. Yeah. This is like I've been told in my whole life about this Holocaust and like here's this thing going on and now you got this kid. It's animating. Yeah. Yeah, it just gives him purpose. He's been rich for so long. How long has he been on America's Got Talent? Oh God, he's not even from well, America. Yeah, forever. And I, I love Ali. He's not even from America. Yeah. I mean, that's neither Simon Cowell, to be fair. None of them are. Yeah. One's a German chick, and the, oh. the other ones are British. Yeah, that's so true, isn't it? That's so funny. But this show, it should be called Foreigners Judging You. That's what that show should be called. <laughs> so, Love it. he's not I feeling it. I've never I, seen any I, anti-Semitism. I, I, are you on a college campus? No, I'm not. Go over to USC today. Ugh, I'm not on a college campus. But, but here's Nobody the thing. I know here's is. the thing. College campuses have always been this thing about hate dude it's like when you had like you had functions non-white functions and he's probably right that was just on the internet non-white functions yeah when you had ethnic students kicking out white students out of like areas of the school it's been happening forever yeah i mean well they've been having like non-white proms non-white commencements yeah. Yeah. happening forever and guess what all the people that are mad at israel guess what they always are into hating white people and guess who's f- f- pushed this a lot and it's the ginos of hollywood like you know there's a show i still think that's got to be a play on giant nose it must be right no it's it's a playoff of i know rhino, i know which is but, I know, but then i still think it's got to be giant gi- nose well but the point is, it's like when when I see a show called Dear Jews, where it's like ripping in Jews, like Netflix had called Dear, Dear White, White People, people. Yeah, yeah. ran by a, I think a Jewish trans, right? That I, I don't care. I love Jews. My whole thing is everyone gets it now. That's where we're at. Yeah. You do not. You're not a protected class anymore. Blacks get it now. Gays get it now. Jews get it now. Women get it now. Dude, my theory is. Everyone should be treated like white people on Twitter forever. Yeah. That is my theory. White people, if you're okay with lighting up white people, you should be okay with lighting up Jews, lighting up fucking blacks, lighting up gays, lighting up women, uh, handicaps, anybody but the downs. Get it. Okay? Yeah. Everybody gets it now. And words you're aren't, not getting words picked aren't violence. on. Words aren't violence. You're yeah. not getting picked on. You're just getting treated like everybody else now. That's it. And he just sees it as his anti thing. Does this go anywhere? Like, did they get into well, it? Well, no, he it? just basically starts to tell them, like, yeah, dude. I just want to, I want to see if they, I'm just going to go. I'm sorry. <laughs> They're just dumb. No, Is he you're drinking wrong. his own Oh, piss? you're really Probably. wrong. We've seen him. You're really before. wrong. <sighs> Bro, if you shut the laptop, you'll never see it. You'll never know it exists. Oh, I believe that you can hide from it. I believe that you can be uh, it, it, out in the world, never seeing a single thing. It's just a citizen. But this app. will it's get into the nihilist shit. Thing. They're just pushing this thing, and all the Arabs feel attacked, and all the blacks feel attacked, and all the Arabs. We should say, too, Ari, if you don't know, I mean, he's lived in Israel. He, no, he's got he's got reason to know what he's talking about. Let's just say that. You know what I mean? He's He was a hardcore religious guy growing up. He you just know did a, show, a special yeah, called, called Jew. Jew. Yeah, I mean, if anybody knows, it's Ari. Not She's- a guy who never leaves his fucking house ever. Attack. So there's no anti-Semitism. There's no racism. It's, it's there's no statistically irrelevant. It's like getting a set over a set. It, it doesn't. It's not something that's even. Uh, uh, it's less than what point one percent. It's it's you. Will, We're less than one point one percent of the population. Jews. I thought we're two. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, no, yeah, no. we are. We are. We are two, we are two percent. Yeah. <laughs> but I think that it's it's not. It's we're just, hated. Eh, sure, by some, I guess. D- deep in the world, they don't see us. But everybody's hated, have- though. That's that's the internet. Yeah. Everyone gets shit. There's no group that doesn't get shit right now. It always it's bothers not me. When unique. Say- like that's what they tell you when you go into uh, when you go into uh, 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 re- a recovery. They go, guess what? You're not unique. All the fucked up shit you did. Everybody here did it. You're not. That's unique. That's comforting though in that setting. That's yeah. what I'm talking about. He will. I mean, he'll never get there because of his age, and I, that's nothing against Howie Mandel. It just that dude is set in his ways. Yeah, well, I, that's what I was gonna say. It's and, always disappointing when you see like, somebody like this. His like, age people think we're always two days away from a Holocaust. Like we're two days away yeah. from fucking shit getting weird. I was right? like my grandma, dude. She had a freezers full of shit from twenty years ago because one day, yeah, 
You know, and we I, I get like that too with the uh, Petro Dollar, all that shit. I get like that too. Yeah. So uh, yeah. in that sense, but anyway, his whole view. But anyways, we'll, we'll he that, goes probably. into that. Ari goes into that. He writes jokes about everything, and he says the R word when it comes to SA. He says I don't, the only reason I don't say it right here is for for YouTube. What, SA, what is SA? What is, Oh, 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 I thought you were talking about retarded, not... Uh, no. Oh, okay, gotcha. You know? We got two He goes, he so. makes fun of all that shit. And what did they say to that? Did they... And they just go, okay, I, I Check, if, yeah. you, if you want, it's a, the, the, it's a Howie Mandel does stuff clips, and it's Ari Shafir and Howie Mandel disagree about current anti-Semitism. But it's very interesting about Howie Mandel is because he is at his age, but he understands going viral, right? And yeah, it could be. I mean, no, because Dana White said, you know, the Dana White's walk off thing. He said how he oh. scripted that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You you said that from the beginning that you thought it was. Uh, and it was I fake. like that. I don't like that. Even I don't like I that either. I no, don't, I don't like fake I want shit. Real yeah. moments. Me too. Yeah. Of realness. Not like, like, you remember when I was just thinking this a little while ago about the hot black chick who took her mask off to pick up poop and then put the mask back on. No, I never saw and that. And you're like, that. you go, that was so fake. There's so much of that now. Oh, Dude, yeah. You can't trust anything. On TikTok, anything. it's just euros doing fake yeah. uh, uh, prank videos. I mean, I told you, dude, a couple of weeks ago about how people are... Ri are there are places now where you can pay to like have dinner on in a plane cabin, like the fuselage of a plane. And there are people now faking viral plane videos in these little places where you can rent, like or go on a plane. You know, oh, the painting of the toes. You brought yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, and a couple other things. That have happened. Johnny, we've talked about this before, but it's a good time to bring back this story. Okay. The 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 YouTube prank that actually turned into an assassination. Yeah, at of that mall. Ching yeah. Jung Ching Jong's uh, uh, brother. But that started oh, out oh. as a YouTube prank. Oh, the spraying in the face thing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That's yeah. that's what it gets real. It was it was Kim Kim Jong Un. Yeah. Uh, bang, bang, had, bang, there bang. was somebody he wanted to have his, killed. His I brother remember. Ping Pong. And then they were in an airport and they were like, hey, you're on a big YouTube prank show, and all we want you to do is just go spray this water in this guy's face over here. And some random ass person, I think it was a woman, uh, took it. Was like, oh, really? Cool. Where are the cameras? You know? And she's like, oh, okay, I can see him kind of. Uh, and they sprayed this shit in this guy's poison in this guy's face, killed him. And uh, now she's she was, arrested, right? I, I would assume so. She murdered somebody. <laughs> I mean, shit. Poor chick. Um, okay, so ooh, Hall asked through these stories here. Uh, Vanity Fair. Uh, this is a story from Vanity Fair. There is a counterfeit Ozempic industry, a oh, global geez. industry of counterfeit Ozempic because it's so expensive. It's thousands of dollars a month. Like I think it's like twelve hundred dollars a month or something like that. The cheapest. Uh, so they're they're. What companies do you think is going to kill more people? The uh, or the Ozempic? I mean, we saw news. There were news stories this week about the how zh, zh, zh. they're starting to attribute excess deths worldwide zh, zh, zh. to the. Zh, zh, zh. Yeah, zh, zh, zh. Uh, which is. Zh, zh, zh. Zh, 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 zh. I mean, glad it makes you feel good that you didn't. All right, Johnny, I gotta go. It. We're almost done. Oh, uh, so yeah, the the it's so expensive. It's so expensive that people are. Faking it and with with fake uh, until they make it. Are they faking it until they make it? Compounding their own Ozempic, so it might actually work. Some of it, but you never, you know, it depends. Are on Are they where growing you get their it. own Ozempic? No, I don't think it's something you can. Can be made. I get Ozempic coca seeds? <laughs> I think it can be made in like labs. So what you're having is like this is the plot of the South Park episode. Actually, is you can get the actual compound from like India, some lab that makes that shit. Probably the same place that sends it to, you know, Big Pharma. Yeah. And they'll bring it, send it to your house, and then you can compound it yourself, apparently, and inject it. You know, it. it's just like, it's so sad how people just like, they just want to skip set, you know, steps. Like for me, when I want to lose weight like that and destroy my body, I just smoke meth. <laughs> this is, so we've uh, kind of followed the, the, Plunge in birth rate, uh, which you know, if you listen to a certain dude, nobody wants to knock up Chinese chicks. I don't get it, dude. <laughs> yeah, There's a bunch of Asian women that nobody wants to give them the sauce. Well, especially Asian men, apparently. It's, that's they're all just well, they're playing all video feminine games. men. They're playing video games. And they're jerking really off. feminine. Yeah. Uh, so Tokyo, the city of Tokyo. I think all the straight men in Asia are at minimum bisexual. <laughs> They're all geishas. They Everybody's are, a geisha yeah. in the Middle East. They They're are. all sensitive. Got to get back on their samurai. They're tip, all giving right? happy endings in massage parlors. Yeah, you would know. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, I've never dude, been we, to that one uh, over there in Westlake. <laughs> where, she, where, where they had your ass in the air, like no, tr that's trimming me, your balls. That's me getting uh, the, the, the body hair trimming. 
which I haven't done in a while, which I've been wanting to do again. So the city of Tokyo has yeah. had to launch a dating app to boost boost the birth rate in Tokyo. Isn't that crazy? Nobody wants a bang agent chicks. Japan's capital will launch its own dating app as early as this summer as part of a government effort to boost the plunging national birth rate, a Tokyo official said Tuesday. Users will be required to submit documentation proving they are legally single and sign a letter stating they are willing to get married. Dude, like, so like you're not here to fuck around basically. Gunpoint. You're not here to fuck around, is what they they yeah, want to like make sure. You want to make babies. Yeah, that's what it is. Uh you have to state your income, uh, and then uh Tokyo will require a tax certificate slip to prove the annual salary. Uh we learned that seventy percent of people who want to get married aren't actively joining events or apps to look for a partner, a Tokyo government official yeah, in charge of the I, new Now they said. messed up because only broke dumb people will have kids nowadays. They should be like, Are you working? Okay, you can't come. Are you just a dumbass? Yeah, here, get married with this other dumbass. Have a bunch of dumbass kids. We want to give them a gentle push to find... That's a gentle push in Japan. It's yeah, just, so, so basically, uh, basically, the Japanese government is your mom and dad now. Listen, Don't you is, want to get pregnant and have kids? Don't you want to get pregnant and have kids? Why oh, are you not busting nut why, in the why, pussy? Uh, yeah, wee-wee dang, she's pretty. Why don't you go give her your wee-wee dang? She get Brazilian wax every month. I know yeah. this. Oh yeah, they have weird furry monkeys, huh? Asian chicks. They got like their their bush does not work together. <laughs> <laughs> their bush just goes, you know, go, and it just runs in different directions. Yeah. You know, Asian women's bush is like those those trolls you put on the end of pencils and just like. You know, a lot of Asian uh, they don't have body odor. Like they don't have the gene for body. Yeah, odor, because like, they're they're aliens, stuff. bro. Yeah, hey man, uh, look at their language. It's alien language, bro. Yeah. It looks like the same thing predators had on their wristbands. <laughs> that is true. Uh, it's not. Listen, this is just it's such a different way to live. It's not unusual for municipalities to organize matchmaking events in Japan. These are cities where birth where birth rates have dropped to a new low in 2023. Uh, yeah, I mean, dude, anywhere there is educated women, no one's having kids. Yeah. Uh, did you see the guy who took the fam uh, who took? I mean, putting in quotes the famous Earth Rise photo. He died in a uh, a crash today, uh, airplane crash. Oh, that's sad. Yeah, rest in peace to that guy. Um, that's sad. We'll never know how you fake that now. <laughs> hey, curious, huh? Uh, they did wait till he was ninety to kill him. If they did, so they do um, that. Uh, put this in the Alex Jones was right again column. Uh, meth addicted fish, agro starlings, caffeinated minnows. Animals are being radically changed by human drugs, according to a study. From, yeah. From brown trout becoming addicted to meth yeah. to European perch losing their fear of predators due to depression medication, scientists warn that modern pharmaceuticals and illegal drugs uh, being polluted into the water are becoming a growing threat to wildlife. Drug Hold on. So there's a predator out there that is depressed? No, no, no. Th this depression medication, we're all pissing it into the water supply. Yeah, yeah. And it's causing fish to lose their fear of predators, their natural inborn fear. <laughs> and, and they're being snapped up. You know, they're dying is more than they sh at a higher rate than they should. Oh, because that's of just the so crazy. What is that doing to us? Yeah, 100%. What is it doing I to mean, us? I mean, women love bad boys when they're on the pill. When they're yeah. off the pill, they, they'll they wake up being like, I don't like this guy. Why am I with this guy? You hear about that, dude. Yeah, the smells, like the pheromones and yeah. things. It's suddenly a turnoff. You hear yeah. about that all yeah. the time. Yeah, I mean, dude, it's like it's like Ola said. There's been a war on women. Yeah, she was good. Uh, she was good. Drug exposure is causing significant unexpected changes to some animals' behavior and their anatomy. Female starlings dosed with antidepressants such as Prozac at concentrations found in sewage waterways become less attractive to potential mates. That's just what you're yeah, talking Johnny. about, dude. With yep. male birds behaving more aggressively and singing less to entice them to... So, basically, this is all population suppression shit, dude, is what we're finding out about these depression drugs. They make people not want to fuck. Yeah, 100%, is, percent, Johnny. Isn't that wild? Yeah, No, it's not wild. It sucks. Uh, it's Alex dark arts. Um, Johnny, can we get into this clip that you, me, yeah. you put on the internet of... Uh, you putting out the queen is still protecting, and then some guy named yeah. Colin Hood yeah. goes, you're shitting on the that's, royals that's and so pleading for subscribers. Not a good look. And then somebody goes, shitting on the royals does not plead for subscribers. Good look? He's English-Armenian. 
What does that matter? Like, what does that matter? I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Here, here it is right here. It's just a clip from the show where we. It's from last week where we talked about, uh, you know, Prince Charles trying to kick Prince. I mean, King Charles trying to kick Prince Andrew. Guys, out. this hold go up. What does he say? Guys, this show's got to get. Get it gets better as well. Okay, it gets better every episode. Uh, it, Johnny Woodard, you're killing it, sir. What said, about me? He, he, I posted that. He was replying to me. Uh, okay. Um, where is it? Hold on. I saw that comment. I'm trying to find it. And then, by the way, that guy Broken's Phil Day just drops N words with ERs. Uh, yeah, I've noticed Means that all the time. Oh, here it is, right here. You're shitting on royalty and pleading for subscribers. Not a good look. I don't even know what that means. And then you wrote what? Uh, and then everybody's just like, "What are you talking about?" This crackhead. This guy makes says, "This crackhead makes you believe some David Ike shit when you should have been on Ben Carson." Get your levels up. Frequency. Please subscribe to my podcast so I shit on people that did better than me. So he's wait, he's saying that the, the Royals did better than you, so yeah. we should. What is he talking Such about? Such a weird dude, bro. Okay, that guy's. I mean, come on. We're talking about probably. Such he a might be weird mentally ill. Dude. We're talking about somebody who might be mentally ill here. Yeah. We're, we're making fun of Downs. I thought we didn't do no, that. No, he's not down. He's retarded. So you sent me this, uh, and this kind of went viral. It's everywhere. Um, and if you just saw this one clip, you might think something really terrible happened here. Um, we have a comedian. Uh, Johnny, something terrible did happen. Well, it wasn't. Well, it wasn't this though. Yeah, it wasn't the guy getting punched in the face. That wasn't terrible. No, that was a that was a result of it. Right, but what I'm saying is, you might think that was terrible. Yeah. Uh, until you know the facts, but we're just going to show it really quickly. Look here. at this. This guy doesn't know how to fight. Dude, no. They, look, look at this. At the, yeah, the guy's winding up, and your yeah. hands are down. It was like uh, when he's punching like George Foreman, like yeah. throwing the kitchen sink into yeah. here. <laughs> So if you're listening at home, a guy is, is already on stage at this point attacking a performer with these uh, wild roundhouse punches. Uh, tell that to me. Garbage. Now what were you saying that my son was going to eat a black man? That he was going to eat cock when he was three months old? Garbage. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. And this guy could not be more afraid, just cowering in the corner. Yeah, as he should be. Tell You're me, talking he says. shit. You're sexualizing. Tell me kids. to my face, right here, yeah, dog. right now. Gee, Tell I've me. Had, I, gee, have I ever done this before? And he says, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I beg your pardon to the people who work there. They're like, you got to get on, get off stage, calm down." And he's saying, "I'm just a father." Uh, and and so what we found out now, you might think, okay, this guy was heckling, and then this comedian said something to him that set him off, but that's not what happened. Um, I'm trying to find the official clip here. What happened was this fuck was on oh, social right media. Here. This is right, it, right here. here. Yeah. So let me give you a backstory here. Supposedly this guy is like an extreme right or left guy. I don't know what he is. The guy who went on the stage and did the no, punching. the guy who's holding the baby. This is what the, the guy who did the punching. Yeah. Thing. So what they're saying is he's has extreme political views and this guy's reacting to it. What I this see. guy said is no reaction to a child no, it's, that's three months old. No, it's this a, is how you get your ass beat. Let me see what this is translated to. What uh, go see. down, it shows you. No, no, right there, that part. Happiness and pride is what that is. Yeah. So uh he's got he's holding it's what we're seeing is a picture of a man holding his child and, yes. and with the with happiness and pride as the uh as the uh as the uh, subject. And then, um, wait, hold on. Yeah, I mean, the times I saw it was, yeah, translated, it was translated in English. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to find the translation. Maybe somebody replied to me. Okay, so, and then this comedian guy commented on that post. Uh, it's got to be here somewhere. Okay, yeah, here it is. The dad typed in the picture, joy and pride, and the comedian replied, nothing and nobody will prevent he, the child, is gay when he grows up, and he gets full of eating black cock, but working class black cock, not a soccer player. Time is wise, and we just have to wait. Basically, he's saying your son's gonna grow up to be a, a, cock, a black cock sucker. Yeah, and so you a see what he's a baby, saying. An infant, working class. So this guy's obviously socialist saying this. Yeah. To a guy who's a conservative. Yeah. And I'm just telling you guys, like I don't care what that dad did. That kid. You don't say that to kids. No, 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 no. Okay? Now, if that kid grew up and became a neo-Nazi, and you want to say some Nazis, that's different. You don't say that about people's kids and their pictures of their children. Sexualizing kids ain't good. You know, and this first got passed around as something like, oh, look, another comedian got attacked. And then you realize, wait a minute, there was actually a lot more to the story, and a guy got what was coming, basically. Uh, so... 
yeah. Anyway, that's a little lesson to us all not to rush to judgment when we see something like this. Uh, and fuck that guy forever for saying that about a baby. A baby, baby. Even if you don't like the political, like, dude, it's like, it's when Roseanne Barr's trying to be like, we have to, like, protect the gay kids and then just goes off on Baron Trump being autistic. It's like you show your true colors, man. Have and you seen again, how tall he is, by the way? That yeah, kid's he's tall, tall, dude. But the point is, it's like, again, the theory of hate, the theory of hate is is scarier than actual real life actions yeah. right like this guy doesn't like that dad's politics so he says does unholy shit by sexualizing a three-year-old it's the ultimate hypocrisy we have talked about the effects of the laws in california I'm praying workers at tj maxx and marshall's are now being made to wear police-like body cameras so that people who steal shit We'll see the workers wearing these cameras, and hopefully they're hoping that they will be uh, dissuaded from doing it just because... So this is what it's come to, though. Instead of, I don't know, enforcing the laws, we're making people who work minimum wage at TJ Maxx wear body police body cameras. Yeah, but, and they don't even show up. <laughs> what is this? So, like, so there's this whole thing where like they... This, they They busted this guy shoplifting. It gets crazy. They have to tackle him. And it gets violent, and they 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 arrest the guy who tackled the shoplifter, well, dude, and that's yeah. all on purpose because they don't want you stopping crime. They want crime to get so bad, so bad, okay, get so bad that you beg for martial law. If yeah. you're stopping crime and you're active in fighting crime, okay. Then they can't get what they want, which is complete and utter hysteria and chaos and lack of any feeling like anyone's coming to save you. Pressure from above, pressure from below. That's what's going on here. It doesn't have to be like that, but this is the only way they get martial law. And it's like, people think I'm crazy. This is, this is what they did to, to Russia, Germany, China, and they're doing it now. Well, and, and you're totally right. Listen to what people who work at these places say. They says they they say uh, that uh, they're just for show. It feels like the implementation of this program with the cameras isn't meant to achieve anything, but rather something the company can point to to say it's improving security. They're not they're not giving them any extra training or anything. You know, there's just it just completely for show, and, and they're meant to just let you know continue to let. Like I know somebody works at like J Crew or worked at a J Crew, and they said that they were trained. If they see somebody stealing shit, not to even say anything, not to even be like, "Hey, are you stealing that? Are you gonna pay for that?" Not just to watch them and like log it, and that's so, it. So dude. now we get to this thing where the co companies don't want to arrest anybody, and now they're just gonna shut down and leave because they're losing money. Oh, and we've seen it. Yeah, we, the, the ninety-nine cent store, which was one of the few affordable places to get groceries in LA, uh, totally bankrupt. All of them. They're all gone now. Uh, I went in there, by the way. You want to talk about a desolate place that's like Mad Max land? I went there like three days before it closed. Everything was 70% off. All that was left was, and I, don't, I don't know why, but just party supplies like for like different holidays. That was it. Yeah, what are you celebrating? Every uh, The apocalypse at empty, the 99-cent store? Empty shelves. All right, I got to go. Uh, U.S. woman declared dead was found alive at a funeral home. Then uh, we'll do the speed round now. And then they found her. Uh, she was died again a little while later. So, uh, elders, listen to this, dude. So you know how Elon made a big point of getting Starlink internet to people in like tribes and shit like that. Well, the elders of these Amazon tribes are slamming Elon Musk for exposing young members to porn and social media. Uh, so you've got these people uh, out there wearing, you know, uh, feathers over their cocks. Do you see this? Like, and they're complaining that Starlink is getting pornography into the youth I mean, of this, dude, of it's these just tribes. Like, you could be the most spiritual people. When you see people fucking, yeah. you're just like, all your spirituality goes away. It's you're ruining just like, it. Oh, yeah, she loves it. It's taking their, uh, it's taking their yeah. innocence. Uh, uh, she loves it. Uh. There's an online shop that is making bank selling used tampons to strangers. An online shop has started selling women's used knickers, dirty socks, and tampons. Uh, at great income, according to that. The web the website is called Sabubis, whatever that means. Oh, no, it actually means underwear in Latin. And its founder, a 32-year-old woman who wishes to remain anonymous, that makes sense, uh, she set the business up to sell lingerie and underwear worn by various men and women in October 2021. Uh, a 
pair of worn female underwear go for about 120 bucks. Guy, I did. Well, I learned this when I worked at a strip bar. Guys are scumbag, disgusting. That is, I mean, that doesn't do anything. Does that do Dude, it? That does women nothing. Women, what they for would me. do is, women would go up on stage and like, who? If you get a lap dance, you get a shirt from Sarah, and she'd just rub it between oh. her legs and be like, yeah. People were like, Ooh. that does I was nothing. Like, I, for I just, me, what are we doing here? It is a lucrative business that is in such great demand in this country. The founder, who is from Switzerland, said in Zurich, I kept hearing from acquaintances who received inquiries on social media as to whether they want to sell their underwear. Anonymity was not guaranteed during the payment process, and that put many people off when she's talking about her original setup. Uh, but they are not fundamentally averse to the business now, she said. Uh, so, yeah, it's a huge business for this woman. It's just selling. Just like, dirty and keep shit. telling me about the patriarchy, please. Yeah, seriously. Keep telling me about how hard it is when you could sell your used underwear uh, to guys. I mean, it's just like unbelievable. This is from AP. A moose killed an Alaska man attempting to take photos of her newborn calves. File that under uh, dying stupid. Um, let's see what else we got. This is from the BBC. This is so funny, dude. Will you just listen to me for just a second on this one? Okay. I will not. So. A group of hitmen have been jailed because none of them actually... They One guy got the job, right? And they all kept trying to subcontract it. So, like, the top guy was getting dude, paid... that is so like funny. Like, $50,000, right? Yeah. And then he was like, all right, dude, I'll pay you $20,000 to kill this guy. And then another guy was like... His plan was to, like, hey, bro, I'll pay you five grand to kill this guy. So they ended up arresting... Uh, how many guys is it? Uh, I think it's, like, six or eight hitmen. Six men, Yeah. That's how far down it got, dude. Six men, because none of them actually wanted to kill anybody. They just all wanted to take the money and pay somebody else to do it. All six men, the five hit men and Tan, the guy who was uh, the original guy, uh, were convicted of attempted murder by a, a court in uh, China following a trial That's that lasted unbelievable. three years. That's unbelievable. That's just, <laughs> That's so funny. dude. What a weird business they'd be in, right? The original assassination. The guy, who, the, guy, the guy who hired them was called Tan Yu Hui. Uh, <laughs> he hired a hitman to take out his competitor for two hundred eighty-two thousand U.S. dollars. How much? Two hundred eighty-two thousand U.S. American dollars. Two hundred thousand dollars. Two hundred eighty-two thousand U.S. dollars was. Oh my God, that seems like a lot. And then the hitman hired another man to do the job, offering one hundred forty-one thousand dollars. That man hired another hitman who hired another hitman who hired another hitman. Dude, that is like the Russian dolls of assassination. <laughs> Dude, that's like a setup for a sitcom. Dude, that is that's the so funniest funny, thing I've ever heard in my life. Um, So Bill Gates is one of the few people who has a gold card from McDonald's, which offers free food for life. There aren't most of the people who hold these are billionaires. It's got there's something weird about that, right? Oh, really? Yeah, it's like one of the others is uh Warren Buffett, uh, but Bill Gates, and they're saying a bunch of billionaires have these gold cards from McDonald's that get them free McDonald's. What do you think that is? Not not, not many regular people get these, even if oh, people so they get a gold card and, and they, they can, can just get free McDonald's everywhere, but it seems like it might mean something else. Is what like, I'm that, that's how they get the, the adrenochrome? Is that Maybe. what you're thinking? That's what, something like that. It's dude. some adrenochrome shit. All right, I'm, All right. I'm, I'm, well, I'm, I'm getting this story. Uh, okay, so 37 political candidates have been assassinated this Dude, political that, cycle in Mexico. This is the craziest story of all the crazy stories. The woman called Claudia Scheinbaum. I'll of course. Make your assumptions about her. Scheinbaum. Uh, was elected the country's first female president after a bloody election campaign. Oof. And this is all the political elections Oof. around the country. You had 37 <laughs> candidates assassinated, mostly because they were, you know, trying to edge out the drug cartels, which is, this is never going to happen. Uh, so we're in the speed round now, so I'll move on from that. Um, this woman uh, shops in her sleep, and it has cost her more than $3,000 in sleep shopping. Damn, dude. Damn. She keeps getting scammed and shit while she's asleep. Uh, Parisian protesters... She plan shops in her sleep. Yeah, dude. It's a real thing. That is unbelievable to uh, me. Uh, Parisians plan to poop in the Seine River as President Macron pledges to take take a swim ahead of the Olympics. Uh, so they're going to all shit in the river to uh, dirty it dude, up. Dude, right? he is the worst... Well, I don't know whose side to be on. That was my feeling about that story because I'll be on the French, sucked, but people are shitting in the yeah, river. Yeah, be on the French, dude. Uh, Trust so, me. So you know, one. Fish is playing the uh, Vegas Sphere, and uh, a fan who ripped the first bong hit at the Sphere has been permanently banned from the venue from a Fish show. Fish, what's what you do at a Fish show? Yeah, you 100%. smoke weed, dude. And this but, guy hey, got banned. He'll, he'll hey, dude. He'll have that forever. No one will ever be able to be the first to do that. That's yeah, true. 
Last story, uh, and this is just a feel-good story I wanted to get because we had some dark stuff today. A fundraiser has raised more than $220,000 to help a 90-year-old veteran retire from the grocery store. Check this guy out. 90 years old. They still got him on gr oh, grocery cart duty. I mean, how is he 90 years old and they're still making him shit, collect huh? the grocery carts? That's what I would ask. Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is from New Orleans. Thousands of dollars have been raised to help an Air Force veteran retire. Louisiana resident. Oh, here we go. Well, just made 90 in November. Oh, my Lord. So there, it is 90 degrees today. Look uh, at his you know, arm. Dude, he looks like the guy, the... The, the bad guy in Poltergeist yeah, 2, 100%. I think it was, remember? Come to the light! Yes! No, 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 no. The guy, the guy that was like the priest that ran that cult yep. that came back from the dead, that's, yep. he looks just yep. like him. And you I'm are with working you. as a 90-year-old. Why are you doing this and working so hard? Did you ever... I gotta eat, he said. ...serve in the military? A long time ago. Where did you, where did you serve? In Greenland. In Greenland? Greenland. Greenland. What, what, what branch? You know, though, that's ending. Like, nobody's in the military anymore. Are we supposed to feel sad right now? No, we're happy because they're giving him 220. Watch, it would probably drop dead because this is what's keeping him alive. And now that he's not working at Win dixie anymore, he's going to. But, yeah, they raised $220,000 for this guy so he can retire finally from work. Because he, he was, like and he said. And then he's got to pay, like. And taxes oh, to, on yeah, that. I mean, but still, he's 90. I mean, what, how many more years he got to plan for? Yeah, that's true, dude. That's 100 Although he's still working at 90. I mean, getting around pretty damn well, I would say. so. Yeah, dude. Yeah, anyway, good. that's a sweet story to me. Uh, yeah, now he's probably like, man, I get no more pussy from fucking getting carts around. Here's Jack Dorsey talking about free speech. This is going to sound a little bit crazy, but I think the, the free speech debate is a complete distraction right now. I think the real debate should be about, about free will. And we, we feel it right now because we are being programmed. We're being programmed based on what we say we're interested in. And we are told uh, through these discovery mechanisms what is interesting. And as we engage and interact with this content, the algorithm continues to build more and more of this bias. Sorry, bro. Didn't you fucking build yeah, the algorithm? 100%. Like, what are we what talking are you doing? about? But the algorithm even if it's open source, is effectively a black box. You cannot predict. But he's so uh, right. 100% of yes. the time. He's so how right. It's going to work. What and it's, it's going just to show like you, you got to get when you find out when you see yourself agreeing with everything being tweeted or whatever, you, you're in an algorithm. Yep. And that's why people walk around with masks on. That's why we showed it on Tim Fall Hat, on Doom Scroll, I showed it. The woman who's. Who, 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 the the comments are totally different, and it wasn't that they listened to comments. Different. They were totally different comments yeah. on a video. They do not want us to come together. Yep. What's it's, the word today? The word is ah uh, kawabunga. No, you already did it, kawabunga. Okay, Ron Paul can get it. Ron Paul can get it. Uh, no, that won't be it. What should it be? I like Ron Paul can get it. Ron sure. Paul can get it. Like There's fans. just going to be some freedom ass out there for Ron Paul. There he is right there. Give Ron There's Paul some freedom ass. He deserves it. Come on. Well, you know, the, here's the problem with the Libertarian Party. I'm going to do that. You can't. He's a Republican, by the way, we should say. He's not. Yeah, but I just want to say this about the Libertarians. Like, they that will be always be their, their, their convention. Will always be what they saw. Because you a shit show, yeah. Yeah, because you're getting all the wild things. Well, yeah, it's, the libertarians it's, yeah. wear the wild things. It's wrong. that Hicks joke about the the club for people who hate people. You yeah, know what I mean? yeah. So like, you're asking all these anti-establishment people to form an establishment. They're never going to do no, it. You're totally right. Yeah, you have a better chance of unionizing homeless people than you do at fucking getting anybody to come together, and then they they unionizing homeless people. Yeah, you know, it's just like, dude. And now they got the guy that was like pro gay and pro. Which I don't care if you're gay, do your own shit, dude. You know, but what like, guy are you? To, oh, the, the is that who they nominated? Yeah, he's saying. like he's like they wearing masks. They always and, make a mistake. Yeah. Of course they do, because it's chaos. They want chaos. That's they? why, like Dave Smith, who's so smart, it's like, dude, you gotta like w stop wasting your time. Who did they not chase? Oliver is that who? Yeah, is? Does that sound right. Yeah, yeah. Huh? No. He's that gay pride shit. It's like, is dude, he a gay guy? I think he might be. I never heard of him.
<laughs> all right. Thank you, guys. Bye. SamTribbley.com for all my uh, all my websites.